You can um well the link is twitch.tv slash hurt bro. So I could type it in for you and then you can you can So where's it? Where's the video being picked up at? On the phone or the uh, camera? So what's the camera do? Camera behind the scenes. We use it so oh, oh that that's like why we were singing really nice the SpongeBob yeah. song. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't sing to rip my pants one though. I mean, straight. I understand. I just bought them at the beach today. Oh, true. I understand. That sucks. First of all, I just ripped them on your couch. It's your couch. First of all, your couch. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, we live. <laughs> oh, so how did that happen anyway? Yo, somebody's like, we, I said we are live. They're like right now on Sunday. Yes. Right now on Sunday. That's funny. About ten. Well, I say right here. Right here is no way. It's eleven seconds. I just did a wave, and I waited till I saw the wave back. <laughs> eleven seconds. That was my number in high school. Oh yeah. All right, we in this thing, you know what I mean? We all in the frame, you feel me? We live, you feel me? It's the Hurt Bros. Yeah, we Young, see. black, and beautiful in this motherfucker, you feel me? Whoa. How's the... Oh, wow. All right. Oh, I'm doing now, because people be oh, like, yeah. you don't send me the yeah, link. I'm just I got to send the link. Yeah, yeah we in here. Um, damn, I should have got my computer. A holiday? We ain't even. I'm still sending this shit out. Yeah, I ain't. I was like, ready to go. I was like, yeah. hold on. I still got like four minutes. I got to send out to a good <laughs> amount of people. Like, we got to make sure people tune in. Like, he's got the perfect angle. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you got to send people you only talk to in six months to link to watch you on this shit. Yeah. That's just how it be. Yeah, send it around. Just so you can send it out if you need to. Thank you. See, anybody my recently text that got the shit is like, I'm sorry. All right. I'm good. Is it here? Fuck it. Once I be locked up in here, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hell yeah, you know what I mean? Like all these folks. Mode. Yeah, it's like being in a movie theater, you ain't wanna bother people by getting up past so I'm like, oh excuse me. <laughs> people yet? Has anyone seen Dune? No, I ain't seen Dune. Dune. I haven't seen it. I've been hearing some good reviews which I've seen it. So good. Like got, for cinema. Whether or not you know about the source material or not, cinema. Like, the movie is beautiful. Think about any girl you've ever had, like, a movie-quality love story with in your life. The movie depicts that in a way. It was like, oh, I was, like, 
Like the girl that has left my life and lives in Key West now from five years ago in my life. Like I was watching this movie and I was like, man, like sh- this shit reminds me of like my experience with this person, bro. It's real. Like, it, like watch that. Like, watch, go on yeah, HBO Max. I'm going to have to check it's it out. It's beautiful. It's, it's not about the sci-fi thing. That, like the sci-fi element is there. And like, and there's so many, many parallels to like what's going on in like our own world with like the war in the Middle East and stuff. Like, you know, like uh, like the movie takes a lot of parallels with like the people from like the desert. So it's like there's a lot of that Muslim based uh, religion and and stuff that's like placed in it. And for, but like ten thousand years in the future. But more than that aspect of how it ties into like modern culture, just the love story of two people from two different cultures that find each other, and like how like the like the 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 pressure of having to deal with the political things that a, a dude has to. It's like, yo, I'm in love with this person, but at the same time, I have to save my hand for the right political choice. Of like what, what's so real still in today's culture. That shit is live, bro. I'm just saying, watch that movie. So it sounds like Romeo and Juliet a little bit. Yeah, it sounds like a Shakespeare. It's, a Shakespeare it's, that's physique. there. That element is 100% there. But it's, it's rooted in something so much more Grounded in what is the Bible versus the Quran, like it's like there's there's so, it's beautiful. It's like, I'm gonna I, check I, that junk out. Watch like, it, watch it. I like shit. I feel like I feel I've I've cool watched it three times it. in the theaters and IMAX, and I really believe it's something. I don't care what your walk of life has been compared to mine. It's something any human being, any man who has felt love for a woman, there's something really relatable there that you need to watch and just tell me if it don't resonate with you. And I would love to talk about it after the fact, but Doom yes, Part Doom. 2, Doom, Doom Part Doom. 2, Doom, Doom. <sighs> yes, cinema, Doom. cinema at its you absolute it? fine. I've spent, I've spent $60 to go watch that shit in the theater for my own tickets since it's come out, and I can't get enough of it. It's beautiful. I Check thought it Doom out. Was a mer- uh, was t- what? Dune or Doom? Dune. Dune. Oh. It's, it's based off a sci-fi novel. So there's a lot of, like, source material there that a lot of people are, like, really big on, like, seeing how it adheres to that. But, like, the adaptation is, like, Zendaya, like, I mean, like, the, the actors all involved with it. This shit is heavy, bro. And, like, you don't need to see part one to love part two. I'll put it to you like that. You should see part one before you watch part two so you understand what's going on. But if you haven't seen it, it is still an amazing film standalone by itself. Just go appreciate that shit. Anyway. Y'all ready to get started now? Alliance two cents. Y'all ready? <laughs> I hear the damn thing. My shit fucked up. Yours fucked up. Uh, hey, what you mean? Yours? I don't hear shit. No. It ain't oh planning. fuck. Well, fuck it. We don't need no sounds. Welcome to the Hurt Bros. Ooh. Oh, you gonna do it? Shit. I did it. Bro. Oh, shit. Where that come from? Right here. Right here. Right here, right here, right here. <laughs> got me all confused. <laughs> Nigga, bomb. Man, I don't hear a goddamn thing. Damn, I don't know about damn, it. Damn, we, gotta, we having a technical difficulty with our sound. As far as the fucking sound. Hell yeah. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. My dumb ass. There go the horns, everybody. We in this motherfucker now. No, we, 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 we not the here today. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Hurt Bros. Hurt hey, Bros. Hey, we, we is the Hurt Bros. It's your boy, Dick Wiley. It's Charles Christ. Oh, no, y'all about to be ignorant. <laughs> Leah, shut the fuck up. See? Why y'all to yelling in the mic? Oh, I did yell in the mic. Yeah, he wasn't even here. Yelling he was talking to some dogs, y'all. He, he, won't, was, talking he was talking to some dogs, guys. Don't, don't think he was talking to an actual woman like that. Exactly. As I was saying, y'all know who he is. Hurt Bros, balling shorts in the winter. Charles Christ. <laughs> oh, yeah, we smoke. hit with our boy Lost in the Smoke, man. Hell, yeah. Balling shorts in the winter. That's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Intro. Just gonna say the name, y'all won't know. Yeah, this, man. oh man, well, it's, it's. I mean, I can, uh, it's, it's, it's gonna it's gonna come out as we talk. You know what I'm saying? I got a little something, so I can freestyle something. Like All right, go ahead. We got, got the money magnet himself. Oh yeah, big baller. <laughs> That's me, Mister. Take your girl and never give her back. I will give her back. Lost in the smoke. <laughs> 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 I just want to borrow her. <laughs> and we got a lot of guests in the back. We'll let his entourage introduce himself. Here you go, brother. I'm Tori. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you for. Chase Cova, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm saying it wrong. What's going on, David? Just spectating, but what's happening? What's up? Welcome. Another day, 
Tori. Appreciate y'all having me. It's my 33rd birthday today. I have never had the privilege of being on a podcast yet. I don't know most of y'all here yet, but I'm looking forward to what the conversation looks like at the end of this. This is great. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you having me. Definitely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Happy, Happy, Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, man. We appreciate you coming. Wait, how does so, it feel, man? Pause. Like, how does it feel to be 33? Like? <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> no, no diddy. <laughs> no diddy, bro. <laughs> it, uh, it feels good, man. Like, my, my uh, whole philosophy to my 20s was... You know, don't be accountable to anybody but yourself. I didn't, I was never a big relationship guy. I'd never looked for commitment in my life other than just charging life for experiences and meeting people and connecting. And, and, and uh, I've got a lot of life experience. I, if, if it organically comes out that we could talk about that tonight, that'd be great. But uh, if it doesn't, I'm, I'm here f- just to match the energy in the room. I like the energy of the people I'm, I'm here with. So I appreciate y'all having me. Blessings. Yeah. Blessings. Oh, yeah. We gonna, yeah, yeah. Blessings no, straight up. Some wisdom Blessings. coming our way. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, get, but real talk, like, I've, I've, I'm, I'm at, like, I got some stories. And if, and if it comes about, I would love to tell some of them. But if not... More than anything, I'm here to to hear some of y'all stories first, you know, and like be inspired by that. So, appreciate y'all having me. Uh, my twenties was wild, and over the past two years, is I've really uh, focused in on and uh, being more reflective. And uh, for the first time in my life, over the past like year, or two years, I've really been like thinking for the first time two or three steps ahead, you know, and trying like instead of living day by day, but like. Like, what am I ambitious about? What am I passionate yeah. about? And, like, everything else, I have to love myself first. Loving just something I didn't do. I, I love everybody. I love everybody. I love connecting with people. But the one thing I realized I didn't do well was just uh, loving myself first so that I could be uncompromised for the people that matter. So uh, if y'all want to hear about that, I can talk about that as we get going tonight. But no. Got you. We gonna, that's we what it feels like there. to be. Th- that's what there. it feels like to be 33 today. Oh, so yeah. that's what that's what but that's what I've been meditating on a lot lately. So thanks oh, yeah. for we're gonna get there for sure. My boy lost. What's up? <laughs> hey, do I gotta call you Dick or could I just call you Willie? <laughs> <laughs> I said Wiley. Wiley? Yeah. You, you know, I ain't gonna lie, bro. When oh. you when you changed your name to Dick Wiley on Facebook, <laughs> nigga, I went crazy because I was like, oh how the fuck did he do that? I didn't think that was a uh Yeah. Hey, I actually I shouldn't have been able to do that. That's but what I'm Dick is the name though. For Dick sure. is the name. So your name's Richard on your ID? Nah. Hell nah. Okay. So what's the story behind that? Oh, well, my name's Dre. You know, because I don't go by my full name, people be on some shit. Like, no, I mean, like, what's your full name? Like, yada, yada. Like, yeah, my name's Dre. Like, no, I mean, even in a professional setting, I should be able to go by Dre. Mm. Why? Because motherfuckers named Richard was going by Dick. <laughs> <laughs> And Bill is and, Williams. And, and no, nobody for the past 200 years has that's been an acceptable thing racially. Can anyone explain where the fuck it came from? So like, well, nobody Richard, was just a pervert. Like, 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 and Richard, you'd be like, what's up, dick? And just just like, call huh? me dick. Like, 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 yeah, yeah, what's, what's up, bro? Story behind like, what, what came knows. first, the, the term dick for genitalia or the term <laughs> the nickname dick? Like, which one was first? I guess yeah. Richard was a dick. That's how yeah, I'm feeling. Google, a pervert. Google, Google, why That's how I'm feeling. Richard was a dick. They was like, hey, that, that motherfucker Rich is a real dick. dick. Yeah. <laughs> I think like, that's Oh, what you you know a motherfucker named Richard that's a dick too? That's yeah. Me too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dick. Paul Richard's dick. <laughs> that is crazy, though. I never thought about that. Why did it? I, I bet you how did we get there? Google that shit right now. Like the, the, history the first of person like, that was named Richard Dick. Under like a recognized nickname. Richard, because mm. it doesn't make sense, right? You Universally. Think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Like, across, like, it's not just English. I feel like that's in Europe. That's a thing, Yeah, right? British. I don't understand dick. it either. I don't, I've never, like, it, I grew up understanding, like, you could call a dude named Richard Dick, but never looked up the reason why, how you got from point A to point B. Damn. So, I'll look sure. that shit up right now. There's gotta be some. Oh, yeah. There's gotta be some good stories. What y'all? What y'all smoking on, man? Loss. What I want to ask you? Uh-huh. you know what I mean? <laughs> what? Cause you sweating. I've been sweating. Yo, and I'm sweating. in a whole body suit, and you're sweating. you're hotter than me. I've been sweating. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I've been that, sweating. That's his thing. I've that's that's why he we wear baller shorts in the winter. Cause <laughs> hey. he got on yeah, pants. Yeah, he hot. Yeah, I got baller shorts on underneath the pants.
always like a, I'm a Norfolk nigga. So always, Norfolk always. Not, but like the amount of wedges sure. you get throughout the day is crazy. What, nah, man, what kind of ball and shorts you wear? <laughs> I don't wear drawers or ball and shorts. Okay. That's, a, <laughs> that's always an alternative. I'm not no, getting no, you're no, not getting wedges. Say, hold on, that's you, can't, you can't get wedges, yeah. yeah. No diddy, guys. No diddy. Okay. No, ain't you can about if you wear that you got stains in your jeans or something. I don't know. Dude, <laughs> stains in the <laughs> jeans. Yeah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> nope. mm. Gotta get them shits dry clean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let them know before you hand it to them. Look, I don't wear drawers. <laughs> So they know what to expect. Right? Don't say no shit. Look, you already know. You dry clean rich ass. Right. Shit. Hell yeah. Did you find it? Are we still searching, searching up dick? I feel like we ain't gonna find shit. No dick. No. <laughs> <laughs> they over there looking at looking dick. Looking for dick. <laughs> <laughs> they trying to find dick. Yeah. So how did dick come to be a yeah. yeah. dick? read it and the first summarize. dick. <laughs> like, let, me, let me read it for two minutes to paraphrase whatever the fuck it's trying to say. Because this is What's up? Like, it's like Ger- it's like some type of German background. Shit, shit. Lost in the smoke in the building. Fucking Nazis. Fuck it, man. We got questions for you. you know, My God. I want to ask you some things. You've been around a lot of fucking celebrities. You've been around Lil Nas. You've been around <laughs> Stevie Lacey. You've been around Trinidad James. You've been around Pusha T, Young Ma, Jess Hilarious, Daylight, Young Thug, and Ray Shamurk. Who was the biggest big dick out of all of them? Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> No dick. I ain't say who has the biggest no, dick. I said who. Since we all I, I would say the, the one, the one that didn't give me no type of conversation, um, would probably have to be Thug. Okay. Now this is when Thug dropped, um, who he ah, Harambe White Club. Oh, okay, okay, what yeah, album yeah. was that? That was uh, with the that blue was, dress. Uh, Jeffrey. 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 That's Jeffrey. when he dropped Jeffrey. So he was on. He was on that. Him and uh, Twenty One Savage was on tour. And then, um, yeah. yeah, I just went up to the Northern, finagled, got a picture. I thought it was going to be cute, having the Haitian flag in it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you, I feel you. Yeah, this <laughs> next person. Oh, fuck, I ain't going to lie to you. I haven't posted this picture, but <laughs> I got a funny. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, we're going to get off topic. So that that's my brother Dave right there, man. That's my brother, all right? Yeah. So... <laughs> I remember one time he hit me up on Instagram. He hit me up on Instagram was like I was uh doing some um uh some tightrope type of shit, you know, like with the curtains. You know, see bitch with the curtains and they'll do like trapeze, trapeze artists. I was doing some trapeze artist stuff, right? And I posted a picture of me with a whole bunch of white women, right? He hits me up on it was February, Black History Month. Hits me up and was like, Bro, really? On <laughs> Yeah, oh, really? On Black History Month, you're going to post a picture of all these white women? <laughs> Dr. Umar would be upset with you right now, right? Uh, and I was like, little weird. do you know, <laughs> I actually met Dr. Umar. Okay. I got a picture of him, me and the shorty I was talking to at the time. He signed my book. You know what I'm saying? So, And I sent that to him because I just, you know, it's like this shit that you bring somebody up and you're like, yo, I actually met that nigga. Now, he mm. really is like that. Like, the 50 lashes, that's not, he was doing that shit at Norfolk State. Like, he was confident. So I would say, like, as far as my best encounter, though, I, I, I thought Umar was hilarious. Okay. Hell yeah. yeah. Kendrick, I feel like Umar was And like, Kendrick, God. I don't. I lost that picture, bro. Damn, mm, I, I lost that picture. You had, you had, like, an actual yeah, picture. Yeah. He came to Norfolk State he came, oh yeah, when he was, was first hot. Like, oh mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, he said, he said, keep smoking, Chief Powhatan, because that was my nickname at the time. <laughs> right, because he's he's the he's the topic of discussion right now. Yeah, I gotta I really gotta, gotta find like, that picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a picture with him. Show me that yeah, he got one too. Oh, yeah. He's doing. I think you yeah. took my picture. I, I got a picture with him. Yeah. Oh, word, that's it so was cool, this was when he first dropped I mean that, uh, Good like, Kid, Mad City, wasn't it? No, right before Good Kid, Mad City. Michael Jordan, ho, that song. That uh, record that was already out, but yeah. that was that was the yeah, that was, was the one that was punched on the radio when he came though. He, dropped he, perf- the album? he performed at the Norva. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, you were know Yeah, you did what, perform at okay. the Norva. Off that po- off music player, what's your favorite? Norva? <coughs> your, your favorite? You, have we all been to the Norva plenty in your lifetime growing up? Norva is like my church, bro. I was raised Catholic, mm-hmm. but for me, music. Like when I came into college, when I fr- when I started to find like my own influences on like who I am as a person, like secular music 
You gotta get to the point. You get you, you drag it and get to the point. You know what I'm saying what it's rooted in for sure, but I'm just saying like your favorite Norva experience. What's the best show you ever been at with Norva? That's what I ask because we all have one. Like one stands out for all of us, right? And you grew up here. Hell yeah. I was at I was at Fort Hills Live when when J Cole came. He came to the Norva. Right after he dropped the shit on HBO Max from he came to the Norva off the Fort Hill Drive Vietnam. success. Like no, when he dropped Forest Hills. Not not for sales, for your eyes only. It was the for your eyes only tour. He came and like I was with my best friend, like we was there, watch that show. I was five feet next to Tyrod Taylor. I remember when he walked in the show, it was packed house, and my roommate was like, "Yo, it's Tyrod." I was like, "Yo, motherfucker, do you look like Tyrod?" He's like, "You look like it's Tyrod," and I was like, "Oh shit, no, it is Tyrod with this whole entourage with him and shit." Like, but that was just J Cole just crushed that show for me. I, I don't even I didn't even made to make it about name dropping motherfuckers. I'm just saying. Going to that arena in that venue my whole life. Like, that shit was on uh, ranked number one by Rolling Stone in 2012. It's the best live music venue in the country. It's the shit we grew up on right here down the street. Yo, Rolling, yo the last show I went to at Denova was was Baby King. Mm-hmm. And that shit was crazy. <laughs> I think it's just because I got older, though. This shit was just like a couple years ago. Oh, so that was recent, too. Yeah, this was like two was, years ago. Yeah, hey, that you, was my first concert since, since the pandemic. But... I was like, damn, like And you 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 bring shit. a baby king, right? We're yeah. gonna be all over the place, but you bring a baby king. You, that nigga definitely dissed Drake on that record too. Family family ties. Yeah, he did. He yeah, definitely bro. Did. How come he did. how come Number two, nobody took yeah, that two, one? Been DMing my bitch. That, don't that, ask, I don't know why. And then Kendrick yeah. said, Burn your hard drive. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Then yeah. they said, Burn, burn your hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did say that though. So how come that wasn't taken? As a shot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We can't be picking and choosing the beef, but I feel like because hip hop, hey, 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 you gotta be quiet on the set, bro. You gotta be quiet on the set. I know it's your birthday. You gotta relax a little bit. Yeah, All right? yeah, he's, I'm tired. Um, yeah, yeah, happy birthday, man. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, let me reel it back in. The conversation. So, um, I don't know why nobody took that as a fucking diss towards them. Towards. We just now catch it on. That baby King concert gave me. PTSD though I can't I can't I can't I realized I was old. <laughs> like, yeah, that shit was sweaty. Mosh <laughs> pit with them eighteen year old white kids. Bro, I like, had God, a damn, white tee on. <laughs> like, I was drenched. I was like, this shit is crazy. It was packed. What up, Tarek Card? What's up? Uh huh. Yeah, Kim did his thing. I feel like with the Kendrick and Drake beef though. I don't know. I ain't, I ain't gonna front, man. I feel like a lot of this shit kind of inflated. And it's like, you know, like beef cell records type shit. You know what I mean? So it's like, as far as Kendrick, he'll participate. You know what I mean? He probably about to drop some. Yeah. I don't think so. We know Cole about to drop some shit. He, Cole's Cole's on the verge of dropping. Yeah. But I don't think I don't think Kendrick's gonna drop this shit. I could put money on it. I don't think Kendrick's Not gonna drop. Shit. He dropped. When he dropped. Two thousand twenty twenty two. Two years now. He gonna drop some song because he he'll drop. He gonna tracks. drop. I, I think, think him and King. Some, I think he will a, drop. a track or two like they did. Like I thought they had an album coming, but yeah, they um, didn't. I thought it was gonna be. A that shit's some scary shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Shaq like, got a question for you though. What's your favorite disc record? Disc record. Oh man, y'all might hate me for this. You gonna say ether? No, fuck no, yeah. fuck no. Because there was no, there was no aftermath. You know what I'm saying? There wasn't no sh- no storytelling to ether. It was just two rappers going at it. Mm-hmm. But Gucci Man, the truth has to be the best this song ever. All right, because he killed that nigga. He killed Jeezy's partner, buried him at a, at the school, and then made a song about it. And then, you know, the, the myth was, you know, they said that he, at first, they were like, oh, he just murdered yeah. a nigga. No, it was self-defense. He ended yeah. up beating the case. Yeah. But I feel like because there was so much, like, like you know, you drop a um, a raindrop in a bucket, like, that to me was, like, how impactful the truth was. They, it wasn't, like, so crazy. It's like, why is a mainstream artist going at me? I'm just a street nigga. Why are you so threatened by my presence? Like, Gucci had a run that a lot of people don't speak about. Yeah, That's Gucci it. had a crazy run. My was it my my end of my freshman year, like summer of my freshman year, and going to my sophomore year at high yeah. school, and like he was dropping like uh, breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner. Bricks mm-hmm. dropping oh, oh, us, breakfast, lunch, and dinner was after that. Yeah. Had us yeah. wearing them t-shirts but with glittery ass snowmen. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, 
Drake's. That, that was Jeezy, that, that, wasn't it? That snowman? was Jeezy. Yeah, that Jeezy was. had the snowman. Yeah. They banned that shit. But I feel like yeah. when it comes to hip hop beef, I think because there's there's was so in the city, they like it didn't get glorified like it did with media. You know what yeah. I mean? So I would say like that, just because he really you watch that video of Gucci, like he he just got done killing that nigga, and then he go do a song right after. You can see you can see the his eyes was just like, yeah, I just one upped you forever. And then when he did it on the verses in front of Jeezy, couldn't do it. It couldn't hell be yeah, me. Yeah. You're not going to kill my partner and say, we're going to send him in a box. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Smoking on Tukey. Like, no, you're <laughs> yeah, not doing that shit. Yeah, yeah, that's that's tough. What y'all think? I think uh, I think my favorite diss is um, <laughs> it's that uh, Cat Williams shit when he dissed the young gun. No way. Some old shit. This I'm about, I'm about to have to start like, playing. Yeah, we had this. Yeah, this come on. Like <laughs> <Mick Kate's laughs> what the? Hold on, man. I'm about to find this shit. Hold on. Dipset and shit. You don't remember Cat Williams? Was, he, that was a rapper at one point? Not a rapper. He made that song, though. Yeah. Yeah, Story yeah, of Adidon. I was about bit, to say, bro. that's Cat mine. Story of Adidon. Story of Adidon was definitely good, too. Because motherfuckers didn't know Drake had a kid. But that's what I'm saying. Impact. That shit has covered. That shit is crazy, though. Yeah, that shit is crazy. Oh, bro. That cover, bro, it, that's damaging, it, it, bro. Yes, it was, bro. That shit's damaging. And, and that's how that's how they move in Canada, though. Low key, back then, though, not now, but back then, like, yeah, I I can see that. You, want, I think one thing why Kendrick hates Drake so much is because, like, and I I I, I could see his perspective. It's like Drake was like, yeah, I'm gonna be a a, a actor, and then you know, yes, he loved music. He he does have a good pen, but then he was like, you know what, my next role in life is to be the greatest rapper of all time. Right. And that right there to me is like I see the power of manifestation because like if you just if you just say yo I'm going to be the greatest greatest rapper and my, but my main skill is acting, bro. That's why when he's on interviews, it's two different personalities. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're like, okay, you can't be writing all those songs now. Come on, like you got different, you got more more sides to you than the dice. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, for sure, you know, for sure. Let this play real quick. Go ahead. Is this a, a second? Yeah, you ready for it? Can you imagine Ray Charles dissing Stevie Wonder though? <laughs> that nigga said he don't got the memory. That shit ain't work. <laughs> uh, I'm about to play. Somebody play that shit off their phone though. Yeah, yeah. you might as well. They gonna get us kicked off stream. They ain't gonna get us kicked off stream. They are. They don't That's not a damn cat. Not good. Yeah, Cat Williams ain't suitable for that. That shit ain't no Apple Music. Cat Williams ain't. Yeah, play that shit. Whoever play it. Oh, you want me to find it? I was about to do it. Yeah, find that shit. Uh, what does it say? Cat Williams dish. Cat Williams Young Guns dish. It was the only one. About to hear this shit, man. Look at this. Cat Williams. (laughs) (laughs) Hold on. (laughs) Wait a minute. Hey, what did that nigga just say? Oh, no. Play that again. (laughs) Buffering. Oh, my God. There's some heat. Buffering. That's how you know it's some heat. (laughs) Buffering. (laughs) Haha. Oh shit! So she she wasn't gonna come in here and shake that's ass. An, that's an audible with me. She's not gonna come in here and shake ass. All right. Yeah. Right. Big ass pimps like money, money. Let me check my palm pilot. Give me that DJ. Sweat like that, damn. You see when you miss me, I'ma say a real player so you niggas understand. Fuck the young guns and both of your fans. Somebody in your camp should. 
should have told you to stop it. And now you two rappers getting fucked by a comic. I'd have been in New York, you niggas ain't a factor. How does it feel to get dissed by an actor? And y'all can't really diss a nigga at all. I made one fucking movie, I'm more famous than y'all. And it'll take more than some young guns to hurt me. I put your mama on the stroll, the bitch ain't but 30. Y'all just got mustaches. How you gonna burn me? Two young gay virgins, a Burton Ernie. You don't concern me, cause y'all ain't hot. Y'all the only girl boo Rockefeller got. Matter of fact, just don't say my name no more. And try to keep your CD out the 99 cents. So you can't stop, won't stop to eat motherfuckers who just need to sit down before you get the fuck clown. And if I see you around, I'ma pimp slap you down and then leave in my gators without making a sound. Y'all really help me out, but y'all ain't knowing. Hey, Chris, tell Nephi his thong is showing. You no, need to be signing Nickelodeon, you the children's <laughs> choice. Next time you say my name, put some bass in your voice. Mr. Carter is a pimp, that's why he's got the rock and got you two young bitches selling cock on the block. You can't I ain't gonna stop lie. You... I ain't gonna lie. Cat Williams is a smart ass nigga. You know, Mister. I read three thousand books before I was the age of eleven. Head ass. Like, if <laughs> if he wrote that bar for bar, he should have went into rapping. He should have went into like rapping. It, don't you? It's one of your favorites. Huh? I thought it was Wayne. It's, it's 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 dope. I gotta hear the. Whole, I got it's a five minute song, so I got it. Long, like yeah, it's long. Yeah, he, he must have went in all it, because man. the nigga said fake money might. He took that shit to the heart. Hell yeah! If to the heart was a video, this is it. <laughs> no, 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 no. He ain't even sounding like Cat, is he? Nah, I definitely exactly. don't. That's what I'm saying. So, and then it was Young Cat too. Hell yeah, Young Cat. This is what yeah, before that shit was probably. It's why what oh eight fi- wow fifteen years ago. fifteen minutes ago <laughs> fifteen years ago yeah what y'all smoking on, on <laughs> yeah. that's the second time I'm yeah fi- I don't know. Song. so two thousand eight two thousand yeah I mean that's when it got uploaded on YouTube YouTube came out in 07. <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. After what you just said, you yeah, want to hear it again? <laughs> that nigga saying my name is Reed. <laughs> yeah, heard, uh, shit, what's your hardest moment, bro? Hardest moment? Shit, to be honest, recently, um, accepting how fast time is going. That's my hardest moment right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just, it was just Friday. And the day before felt like Friday. You know what I'm saying? I'm realizing, I took I took sex and porn out of my life. So I realized how much time that I'm wasting. What? Is that so funny? You got me weak as hell. Yeah, yeah it's, it's hard. It's hard. I, I lasted three weeks. What, without porn? <laughs> no, without sex. All right, all right. Yeah, all no right. porn. I don't need that. But like, porn is... The sex, yeah, you can't even get on Twitter without like that. So oh, I don't I see that shit on, on my Twitter. Shit. My Twitter is highly censored. <laughs> like, I ain't see no ass and titties on He put the child lock shit. on his shit. Yeah. For real. I see yeah, ass and titties like, in the crib. That. I ain't trying to see that shit online. Yeah, I feel that. But yeah, I see, like, that would probably be like, my hardest moment right now. It's just like not feeling like I'm being um uh objectively left behind with reality. You know what I'm saying? You know, they say, like, if you get addicted to enjoying your own company, like, that is, within itself is cynical at the same time. You know, like, yeah, I don't mind being alone, but it's just like, okay, but when I come into a new space, I'm like, wait, that just happened? How did I miss that when I was supposed to be, like, a general type of, of thing? You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, it's just like, yeah, that's it. Like, time, bro. Realizing that how much time I've wasted in life um, and... uh I gotta stop, stop stop dealing with these bitches, man. The bitches That's, fucking you up, man. Bro. Not in a bad sense. It's just they they do get in the way. They get in the way bro, a lot. When you look back at it, like life is a whole bunch of wasted time, and then like a little bit of time be productive. Like when you look back on you, be like, damn, I chill for like eight eight ten hours a day. Mm-hmm. Look back at it, you like, damn, I could have made money. I could have blah blah blah. Like that shit is crazy. Yeah. Like, but I I feel like we're it's made. Everything is made for us to waste time, to waste our time on TikTok, on on the game, on social media, and on our drinking, yeah. whatever. We just it's many ways to waste your time. We've been doing that shit, so I just feel like that shit's just ingrained in. I don't know. It's just how we are. We just waste our fucking time. Man. I mean, now we do. Yeah. Before all this social media shit, I don't feel like we was wasting our time like that. Like we was at least like doing something 
slightly productive. And outside. Oh, yeah. and, <laughs> I, and we was outside. Yeah. yeah. That's I, more. Yeah. You, Motherfuckers you, couldn't be in cells back then. Mm-mm. Yeah. I feel like a lot of shit changed after 2012. I feel like after 2012, we the world went into a warp. I don't know what happened in the year of 2012, but something came up and just took took us by. I think it by that. storm. I think it yeah, happens every time. I sure. feel like we had that again in 2020. Yeah. And then we had that in 2001. Like, we were young. We were kids. That was no, no, I'm just, I was seeing the math. Was it like eight eight nah, years apart? Yeah, like, what the said, fuck? That, that was way ahead. I don't yeah. know what after that. Huh? But I don't know what's after 2001, but I know 2001, like, you know, motherfuckers used to be able to go up to the flight with your significant other up to damn near the plane with them, get them a kiss, and they get on the flight. We've yeah. never been able to. I've never been able to see that shit. Can't like, do oh, it. we watch old movies. A motherfucker go after they love. They go all the way to the gate. Right. Flowers yeah. in their hand. Get your ass oh, beat. Yeah. <laughs> get your ass beat trying to get past TSA and security. And they're not going to let right. you do that no. shit. Oh, yeah. Not at all. Like, our lives change. Like, you things happen. Get them up to TSA and that's it. Bye. That's it. <laughs> yeah, 2012 was definitely the year. But, like, yeah, of course, heartbreaks, though. Everybody's gone through a crazy heartbreak. But I will say the recent heartbreak I did go through, that changed my perspective on loving myself even more. You know what I'm saying? I spent a lot of money on myself, fixing myself, things I didn't like about me, uh, making sure I'm in the gym, you know, I got my teeth fixed, yeah. I my, I got my jewelry up, you know, I got a nice car, big house, but I'm still not happy. All I said, keep selling yourself. One of these, somebody going to be like, bro. Hell no, nah, but <laughs> whenever y'all get to the level of uh, 20 V1, <laughs> Then y'all know y'all getting the, y'all really. Well, they be the one. Well, yeah, yeah, you you, know go, you the, will be the one. Huh? You gonna be the first one. Nah, I think y'all should do it with a girl, and then twenty niggas, cause they not doing that. They just they, they, they just they, they doing that. I haven't seen that. Scarface, um, shorty from see y'all, 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 my my shorty be having. See, we could do that. Ah, uh, yeah, Scarface got one. Scarface, Scarface. Um, got down. Nah, leave the volume all the same. Got down gone. Nah, it's on the speaker. Shit! Oh my motherfucking <laughs> goddamn! What's her name? Blueface bitch. Oh, Krishan. Yeah, Krishan got one. Um, Bluetooth disconnected. Oh yeah, it be loud in here. But goddamn, it's a couple of them, bro. Yes, yeah, I haven't seen them, and they haven't gone viral. You know, they always do the guys, like you know, when Charles and White, they try to they they hit him with a trans. He, I know he won't go in. Shamar, right? Yeah, he won't go. Yeah. I, you know the name? Shamar ain't no trans though. Why she come up to him like that? Just a gay nigga with tracks. I don't think it's a. That's a so. Oh, he's just a gay dude. If yeah. you don't say he's a woman, then, then he's just a, a gay dude. I don't think he say he a woman. Just a cross dresser. Is just that, is that acceptable? That, it's just the fact that he was just like I he told was y'all man. not to do that. He was like, a man. So Charles yeah, going to bre- breach contract. Yeah, yeah. The, and and the people do try, be trying to chase viral viral moments. Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie, like. Like even with the with the music, I'm still working on music. But I've been focusing on like I've been managing this artist, right? Me and my bro Cephas, we co manage an artist called uh, 808 Turn 'Em Up, right? Okay. And like, you know, I just I'm 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 just putting this out in the universe now, right? So you've seen the um, <clears throat> you've seen uh, when the motherfuckers be rapping on the microphone in the hood, four on shooters the blog, only the blog. on the blog, yeah, four yeah. shooters only. Mm-hmm. All right. So wh- who's sponsoring this? Pure Aqua. Okay, we got to take the labels off because they, they ain't give you guys a check. You know what I'm saying? Pure Aqua. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, know, you got to beat the name. Mm-hmm. Get that from Floyd. Motherfuck- they put Dasani on Floyd's desk. So I was like, yo, get this shit out of here. <laughs> pay me for this advertisement. Yeah, on the block, though. Uh, but so we, my bro, my artist right now is in jail, right? So you know how they do the performance. So I was like, I was like, what if we did, we got him on the, for shooters only, on the block thing. Oh, y'all. And then not on the yard, but had him video call from jail. Had a phone hanging. <laughs> had the phone. Yes, we had a big ass iPad and the mic, and he's in jail singing the song. That'd be hard. Right. That'd be so, hard. so the video is dropping tomorrow, okay. and me and my bro are banking like this is it right here. This is our, gonna be our one W. They're gonna they're gonna have to be on that fucking door. Be like, who is this artist? And we're gonna be like, no, nigga. Like, yo, f-, you know. Thanks. So, nah, nah. And I then, see, that's, yeah, that's a good you know what I'm saying? So that's like, I think I, the vision, I yeah. personally think that's gonna go viral. Like, we you know we hoping that you know Kai Snap picks it up, Aiden picks it up, um, Say Cheese picks it up, World Star picks it up because they're just like, yo, we have not seen this. Niggas gonna the song is a fire ass song, right? It's not rap. It's like 
uh, imagine Tory Lanez that that prom alone at prom album. I don't know if y'all heard that. Mm-hmm. He did a lot of uh, ballads and um, eighties type of sounds. But it's a song. It's a song like that. But it's just. It's just. It's just. It's just really fucking good. But right now we're having a little clearance issue. I think because um, Apple refuses to put the song up. Yeah, it's weird. What reason they giving you that? I think it's. It might be the sample. Okay. It might be the sample. And that's gonna be a weird hurdle, but you know everybody's on Spotify anyway. But Apple pays you the most. You know, yeah. Apple Apple's a seventy thirty split situation. Oh, yeah. So on Spotify throwing. Fuck, bro. Nah, Point nah. zero 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 three. It's because they uh they got a free option. That's why they have a free option to not pay nothing else in exchange. Yeah. Yeah. So they just got you pay like just after them. Like mm-hmm. yeah. mm. they got a uh, what was I about to say? They have um they have this new legislation now that. They're gonna try to enforce all these streaming platforms to p- pay to each artist a cent for every stream. Okay. That'll be all right. That, that's all right, right? Yeah. I think that's that's well. I mean, it's gonna not take really, a long but ass fucking time. Yeah. I think I think at least a quarter. If you have hundreds of thousands of streams at least, then that's, look, that's something. Do the math. Do the math. Yeah, let's do the let's do let's do the math. Right equal how much? <laughs> <laughs> when you say it like that, though, it's crazy. It sound dumb. Right? It sound like <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> isn't that better than nothing? It sound like you getting a hundred dollars. Most people get nothing. We really do the math. I don't know. Like, like the most so look, people ain't getting. No, yeah. Right now, we are getting hundred percent of nothing. A hundred percent of zero. Y'all if thought you y'all said a point zero. Wow. Zero, so one. a million. I'm saying you got to get a certain amount um to get to get paid, especially from Spotify. You so, got to get a certain amount. So a million streams at going rate of one cent is only ten thousand dollars. Well, that's something. That's better that's than what I'm I, I think. That's possible. Yeah, if you yeah, got yeah, a monthly that's, listeners. That's something. You know that's uh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. an independent artist could survive off one hundred twenty thousand yeah. a year. You have to keep your overhead low. Yeah, sure. you got to get a million a song. As long as you keep it low, well, yeah. you can eat. You got to get a million, million stream of song to make ten thousand. Yeah. But a you know, streams a lot of streams. But that's gonna eat the fuck out of Spotify's pocket because you got you got the weekend Taylor Swift, Kanye yeah, they just Drake. Gonna make people pay for subscriptions then. Oh, they're they they gonna, gonna, they they gonna have to up. They're gonna have to up it up. Well, they would. They, they would have to get rid of the free option, which they yeah, can't. Ain't gonna be no free. But they got but money they, though. Yeah, they, you they, you they giving can. Joe Rogan two hundred fifty million dollars, and know. that guy that owns Spotify, yeah, white Spotify. ball guy, he's a billionaire. They already got people hooked. They can say that say that shit tomorrow, and people are like, well, I'm used to it, and I don't no, people gonna no switch playlist. to something else. No, they're not. What it is, a lot of people gonna pay for it, but a lot of people gonna switch. They go to something else. Is title still in the game? Pandora, yeah, title still exists. I seen somebody post Exist is crazy. <laughs> Exist is crazy. Yeah, that shit. That nigga's on the brinks of extinction. <laughs> extinction. I seen somebody post a title link the other day, so I'm like, all right, it's still here. Damn. Yeah, so. so it's doing something different. I don't know what it's doing. But <laughs> that shit on the app I mean, store, they sold man. It to, hold up. Who they sold it to? He sold. Jay Z sold, sold oh, ha- like half of it. He stole. Jack, right? Jack Dorsey. Oh damn. Isn't he fucking on a on a Jenner or Kardashian? Why is he famous in the hood? Yeah, like, why everybody exists. know Jack Dorsey? Who, who, what rapper? What I rapper said a bar about, about him? Because of Twitter. He, he's a oh, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, okay, no, no, yeah, he's yeah, he's stamped, he's stamped. He stamped. Black people love like, Twitter too. Yeah, man. he's a Mark Zuckerberg for real. Like, and, and we haven't heard shit from him ever since that check cut. He sold it. Yeah, well, he be making tweets. Like he tweeted the other day, motherfucker. <laughs> they posted like, oh, his first when he first made Twitter. They posted the video. He was like, oh, he said some shit. Bro, can you can you imagine? Like you used to own it, and now you're just on on the space. It's like it's a it's a weird dynamic. And then if you get banned off your platform that you helped create, it's like even more slap on the face. You know what I'm saying? Man, anything can happen now. Oh, we, what we need to do is get ready, get our ex profiles ready for the future of whatever that shit's about to be. Oh, it's about the shopping. I'm talking about the everything because it's, it's about, about it's trying to be an everything app. everything app. Yeah, yeah. So we need to be. Some they of gotta the get off the. They gotta get rid of that porn, bro. Oh hell yeah! I'm talking like if I get on my Twitter right now, I don't even disgusting. follow these accounts. That shit is disgusting. It's just booty on booty yeah. on it's booty. Over, it's like, <laughs> like they, they need to separate that shit to like X X X, and then that be the naked. It's shit. Like, that's valid. Yeah. It's like that's valid. I bought that shit and freaked it out. It was already it? freaked out. It was already freaked out. Yeah, right, yeah. Well, yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, they I always go to Twitter like, for the porn. Then they block Pornhub. Then they block Pornhub. Just just in certain states. This state, right? Yeah, this is one. We're one of the states. Yeah, so since they started blocking that shit, motherfuckers started. I can't pinpoint the exact term, but around prior to Elon, pandemic. 
Around <laughs> the pandemic, matter of fact. The Elon time, right? And no, 2020. Pandemic, he came in like 2022. When people was dropping the OnlyFans with the pandemic, shout out to everybody, got to get it how you get it. But when it started getting to a promotion point where I look at a video of a monkey fighting, two monkeys fighting, and in the comments someone say like, oh my God, that's crazy. Look at my OnlyFans. And since the pandemic, it just went up where it's like everywhere you look on social media, I can't open Twitter. I'm the same as you. Yeah, I can't. It's bad. So like I ch- and and it's really, oh, you know Twitter. what, though? But I use, like, an ad blocker, and I use all this other shit, and I use it on Safari. So, oh, that's different. Yeah, so my, like, they ain't getting all that information, and it's that's just not different. the same. Like, my yeah. shit, I don't know shit. So OnlyFans fucked up Twitter. OnlyFans is owned by Twitter. Yeah. So Twitter fucked Wait, up what? Twitter. Like, that's why you can log in with your Twitter on OnlyFans. Wow. So Elon owns only He freaked this shit out. Elon did, freaked it out. They, they, Elon, they have some, Elon is distracting They have some deep us. association. It, I mean, of course he is. We have some like, deep association. Dis- like He got y'all freaked out on Twitter. Yeah. She's somebody to use This Twitter can't be the girl that, that, that Drake and Future had her falling out of. Yeah. I saw a picture of her. You think it's her? Shorty thick, though. Uh, sure looked like my friend that just left. Shorty thick. I don't know. The thing is, like, why is there, why is they beefing over? Any shorty, it's like all the women out here, and it's like See if you're going by looks, you can always find a shorty that look better. You know what I mean? Than the next one. So, I mean, my I thing know. is with celebrities, you can get any bitch. It's always a <laughs> yeah. better bitch that you could find. Yeah, you could be like a bitch that's better than her. DM me, <laughs> bitch. Will do it. Yeah. See, that's why I don't, like, why they always got to fuck with these certain bitches? That's why I think it's weird. Because you can fuck with any bitch, and these bitches will fuck you for free. Why y'all fucking these prostitutes and these certain other bitches? And these same old bitches? Why? Why? It's, it's so many. It's more females than women than men on the fucking planet. And you a, you a person of status. Of almost the highest status. Why? They may just be the collection of women with the best pussy. That's think, what I was about I to think, say. It's that, it's that fire. <laughs> it's like, look, I, I, I also, tried it all. It's a different perspective. I also think men are obsessed with attaching themselves to other men. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you an example, right? I forgot who just, what, what, how did it go? Oh, the dude was like, um, let's say the girl dated a couple basketball players, right? Or something like that. That Lori Hardy. So, okay, no, this is the perfect example. My friend Tori that just left, right? Mm-hmm. She fucked 50 Cent, right? <laughs> you know, for real, like dead ass, fucked 50 Cent. And and I told her, I was like, yo, my, my connection to 50 Cent is not going to be through your vagina. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want that to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that'd be a highlight. Like, even my other homegirl, her name's Jordan. She almost fucked Lil Wayne. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I thought she was capping until she sent me her on FaceTime with Lil Wayne. He's at the fucking skate park, white, rolling up a, a fucking blunt. And I'm just like, this cannot be my attachment. You know what I'm saying? Like, But some men would be like, nah, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? You know my, you know my wife fucking Drake? Like, they, they, that comes as props. You know, they, they see like that's like an a, a ego boost in I, a sense. I get what you're going with that. I mean, I just, is, I is that your shorty? Because if yeah, it ain't yeah. my shorty, then she can plug my music in. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying fuck him to put me on. But if you do that, fine. It's you're not my girl, right? If it was my girl, then hell no. You know right? What I'm saying? Hell it's your no. girl fucking a celebrity in the past. Yeah, it's seen, I mean, she fucked a, a celebrity in the past. I don't care because she fucking me now. That story probably exists for like throughout a lot of artists. Like it's probably a few women that could be credited with like, hey, like I just had a connection to whoever, and I was able to get my homeboy, my sister, right. Like, uh, my sister's boyfriend or whatever was able to get them on. No, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I look at it because like Amber Rose just came out. She's like, yeah, I should have got twenty million off my twisted dark fantasy. She said she felt like she's entitled to twenty million. I'm like, because of that sample, because of the voice on the call with uh, that, the game? whole yeah. Nikki situation. She, she said she just like, you know, she did that because of her name being dropped. And and she said um and she said what she said was like I was with him through that process, so a lot of inspiration came from me. Yeah, but. But you yeah, wouldn't, so. you wouldn't be nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think she has, point, she, I she has a point, though. <laughs> right? But she has a but, she valid. Like, but think about you it. You just deserve money out of nowhere. But she wouldn't be. No. I mean, ever. She wouldn't be Amber Rose if it wasn't for Kanye and my beautiful dark twist and fantasy and motherfuckers putting that shit on the album. She wouldn't be who she is. Right. That's so, facts. Actually, she owe him. 
And she's she should have got a credit. <laughs> I think she's and also I think she's upset about having a baby with Wiz too. You know what I'm saying? Like she had high hopes, like, yeah, this nigga's gonna be the one. Like don't no, say Wiz is, is not fell off he's not re- relevant in the music, but Wiz is still making money off the back end. Like he's still like fifty million dollars a year off of his his business dealing off the weed. Like he's he's good regardless. But like, you know, I I felt like she thought that she, you know, you you can't go from Kanye to, to Wiz. You know what I'm saying? Like I think she w- kind of went down a little bit. <laughs> I mean, and Wiz, was, on, Wiz, he, Wiz was on the, the end of his. He wasn't in his prime. He was in his prime, prime at all. His prime was way early. Then. Yeah, well, his prime was before his he started was dropping his albums. You're right. His beginning, his beginning was, was his prime, prime yeah. for sure. Before he started even dropping the albums, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Like, well, I would say he still had a a little buzz. Still. He had a buzz so commercially, like, but he won't. He won't that guy though. Like, he won't that guy. He was that guy because he bagged her. He yeah he he. His yeah, last, it just kept him. It kept him relevant. It kept both of them relevant. His last moment was. But it was a real love. They had a baby. I don't mean it was real. No, love. that's not real love. She, I mean, she's getting a check. It, it won't that fake shit. No, well, yeah, she yeah, cutting yeah. the check. Yeah, she, 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 well, make sure your shorty really taking the birth control. Watch her take it down her throat. Actually, yeah, fuck, like fuck that. that. Nah. <laughs> I don't know about I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys. But I deal I deal with a lot of white women, and compared to how birth control affects white women to black women is a whole different ball game. Like I do not I, don't, I can't even tell you how many black girls I know that's actually on birth control. Not that many. Yeah, because they say it make them fat. It make them fat. It does. Make them go crazy. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. I deal with a lot of white women, bro. They are they are crazy. And no, it's the commonality. You would think like, okay, if I go somewhere all the time and it's shit, it must be me. No, bitch. The commonality is all these bitches are on birth control. Oh. <laughs> and I'm not the only nigga shooting the club up because they're on birth control. Or previously, you know what I'm saying? Not saying currently, like they hoes or nothing, but like, you know, if you're telling me to nut in you, you've already fucked six guys in your lifetime. I know you told them to nut in you. You know what I'm saying? It's just we're all here. And then that spins back to why a lot of porn stars are committing suicide because sex is such a sacrificial transactional experience. It affects Energy. women more. That was that was a good one, right? Well, that, was, that was a lot suicide? of words. I didn't know they were committing suicide. I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah. I think yeah, un- unaliving themselves. Bro, it's been 10. 10. And one this weekend. Was 23 anybody years Anybody notable? Okay, young. I don't watch porn no more. Okay, I'm talking about so, young. But, I'm talking about like old OGs. I thought it was like OGs back in the I wish Pinky would kill herself. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that. I'm like, Jada Fire. <laughs> Roxy Reynolds. Jada Fire. Roxy Reynolds. Somebody. Alexis, Texas. Yo, but look, they yeah. were, but they would kill themselves in the most erotic way possible. Like Sarah like, Yeah. They would yeah. hang yeah. themselves with a uh, like goddamn whip. Girls. Me and, and Khalifa. have a dildo down their throat or some I, shit. I don't know what you talking about. I'm talking about... Oh yeah, what I'm saying. I'm happened? talking about. What I said, happened? listen. I said they'll be. I said they'll be dead in the most elaborate ways. Like they commit suicide. Like they, they porn stars, so they have like a dildo down. Oh yeah, like, yeah, hang yeah. Themselves with a whip. Why they gotta keep? What, I mean, what, hey, 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 I'm thinking they just gonna do the simple jump off a bridge. Or something. They porn they stars. Gotta, they go, nah, go like but that. okay, so so <laughs> already round them. Like. So so you got you guys you guys are are the hurt bros, right? Like I was telling my homies about y'all, <laughs> that and I was I, it's so. Correct me if I'm wrong. Y'all slogan is, I'm paraphrasing, we're the hurt bros, but everybody's hurt. Or some shit like that. What was it? I, w- I watched your last stream and you said something like that. You said something, something was like, yeah, everybody in the world's hurt. And I said that to my bro. My bro was like, I need to be on this podcast. I'm hurting right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, f- I feel you, bro. Hell yeah. That probably was Bro, but listen. But look, mm-hmm. since, since you're here, hurt bros come from back in the day, being hurt. Was Back broke. in the day in college, yeah. no, oh being it was it was like high, high. You know, a picture of you on the wall. Like, yes, that hurt. Remember? <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's hurt, bro. Yeah, like that's so really hurt. what it came from, though. But motherfuckers, like you know what? Fuck it. Why y'all so hurt? You know, it was like fuck it. We gonna be hurt too. Fuck it. <laughs> hurt. But it's really now. now imagine if y'all would have kept. If y'all would have did this shit in college and then grew. Oh my nah, god, that shit would have been. Crazy. We won't hurt yet, then. We won't hurt you. We, had, we, had we to, have no know, pain. Yeah, yeah, we were, we what? Were young niggas that was I don't know. Hanging chick to bitch. I, I said, we were just out here living like, like, was, like, like the know. emotional hurt. It works too because, like I said, the world is hurt. Like mm-hmm. even us, and it's like fuck it. We could be the you know what I'm saying a little vehicle for everybody to do a little right, a little soul searching, a little shadow work. You feel so that's why yeah. That's why we. <laughs> that's that's like, the that's the perfect verb to use. Shadow work. Of humor type of way, you know what I mean? 
No, nah, seriously, because we're we're all fucked up right now. I can't I can't see the United States last another five years. Five years? Yeah, because I be seeing people like they be making any videos. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I got a college degree, and I stayed home all weekend because I didn't have enough money to go out. And I was just like, damn, bitch. You need to get some dick. Right. <laughs> There's a guy out there that will take you out, mm-hmm. and you know mm-hmm. society is pushing us to be so so individualized and not dependent on yes. other people. Women are becoming more, you know, more like bros, mm-hmm. which is cool. You know, I wouldn't mind having a shorty that changed my tire because I'm yeah. not changing the tire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just keeping it a bean. I'm gonna pay somebody. Like this is somebody's job. They they love this shit. <laughs> Why the fuck? Like, bro, I I got my fucking. I love V dot, you know what I'm saying? They've always come through. Mm-hmm. But yes, I got <laughs> I had a flat tire once, right? And it was brick as fuck. I was with my bro. And and I'm sitting there right there. I'm high as shit. And I'm just like, man, this is when my manliness gets tested. Right? Am I gonna get out this car in thirty two degree weather and change this tire? Thank God my bro's white. Hey, I'm calling triple. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm changing that shit. If it's cold as fuck outside, I'm calling triple. Right, I'm changing I'll it. I pay for that roadside assistance. Oh, so <laughs> see, see, I got triple A, then I'm gonna use it. So, so, <laughs> so, the, so well the V people pull up two, three hours later, right? Hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was out there. Oh hell! So, I would say so you that waited shit. in the car for hours. <laughs> yeah, so, fuck it. so yeah, he comes and all he does is grabs the tools and just leaves it with us. He's like, "All right, guys, change your tire." He let you keep the tools. No, I was like, you fat fuck bitch, you better get down here. What the fuck are you getting paid for? And he said, nah, bro, I just made a girl change her tires, bro. I'm too old for this. That's He told him verbatim. And then, thank God my white friend, as adventurous as he is, I, I convinced him, like, hey, I get you 80-20, you change his tire. 80-20? Fuck it, bro. Change the fucking tire. And we, we went about our business. But it's just like, I'm not doing all that, that shit, like. I don't, I don't, I don't got the time or the patience to be doing that shit. Yeah. You gotta it's, do that shit, man. In the summertime, I would. Okay. The condition was the, so the winter. Do it. It was yeah, just yeah, it was just too okay. fucking nah. All right. Couldn't All do right. it. I'm like, cause I be feeling like, man, I went to go get my tire, uh, new tires. I knew my tire size. Somebody called and didn't know their tire size. She was like, "Well, call me back when you know your tire size." And then she was just talking to me about like how men don't know their tire size. I'm like, that's simple as fuck. On the it's on the it's tire. On the tire. Yeah. So you should. And know. actually, it's in the door too. And Wait, she was talking about PSIs. Like, yeah. How men be coming in there with their girls, and they be getting the attitude because they don't know their tire size, and they be trying to look all manly and shit. And I'm like, it'd be like That's that. Tough. But I'm like, personally, if I come <laughs> in there, I don't know something. I'm gonna just act like I'm learning something new. Like, right. What the fuck? Make their job a little easier. Yeah. And yeah. shit, right. so it's all about cool. customer service. But we gotta know how to do these type of things, though. Like, well, you say you know how to do it, but. Yeah. We got to do these shits because a shorty might call us or, you know what I'm saying? We don't want to be stranded. Yeah. I mean, I will say if I'm with my shorty or shorties or a a woman, you know what I'm saying? It don't even matter. I'm going to go ahead and change that joint. Yeah. But if you're not. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and change it. You know what I mean? Just because it's like, all right, all right I ain't going to let a whole a whole other nigga pull up over here <laughs> yeah, and change yeah. it. Because, <laughs> you know I mean? I mean, Loki, that's a sign of weakness, and she's going to hold that over your head. This fuck nigga didn't even know how to change a tire. She's gonna tell her mom. See, See, the problem, <laughs> See, the problem is, is being lazy. I know how to change a tire. Like you said, I just don't want to do it. Just don't. Yeah, so exactly. Like, like we, we could. Like, give I don't Give me the tools. It's like, fuck. We gotta get it done, but hell no. Nah, 32 degree weather? Fuck nah. that. But shit. I s- oh, my bad. I need to cut you off. I see I got a thing about the on the block performance, right? Yeah, the crazy thing is, you asked. You already brought it up. Yeah, I brought it up, right? Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie to you. Because of of their politics right now, because, you know, they got four bats blowing up. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Trap Man D-Lo. D-Lo up there, yeah. D-Lo. Now Cardi B just did it on the block oh, thing. Yeah, hers was like in a... Like yeah, I will, I, will, I will say this, right? I'll just speak on the politics on, on, the, um, on the block where four shooters only thing, right? So, I think their price was like 1500 when me did it for my artist, right? It was like 1500 I haven't hit them up, but I think they shits at three thousand now. They going up. They going up. Because yeah, Cardi B just blessed them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they already yeah. did one with Offset. They got a lot of industry people already, mm-hmm. but it's just like because of this this hype that's going on right now, especially around Four Bats, the first AI artist. I about to say he had to be AI. I was just about to say he got no, his AI. and yeah. and his career is about to end because he can't perform it. My nigga's AI. 
Yeah. You can't perform it. Yeah. I mean, the voice is AI. I was just about to say that. Yeah, I was really about to say is, I'm like, this shit AI. Like, See, I knew, auto, it's, the, it's some of the like, best yeah. AI. It's too, it's too perfect. It's some of the yeah. best AI. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's too perfect. There's, it's, there's no flaw in the auto tune. He's the one that's introducing it. He's not going to be the hottest AI, the hottest motherfucker. It's going to be somebody way hotter. For a second, they actually did have an AI artist. Remember, but he was yeah. a white artist, but he was like saying nigga, yeah, and then he yeah, got yeah. yeah, yeah. But no my jail. thing is, he ain't saying nothing. It's the it's the computer saying it. It's the computer saying it. It ain't him saying it. That's very true. Like yeah. motherfucker, write the lyrics, come up with the beat and everything. Yeah, so I don't need it. Don't even need us. We just write a little prompt, fucking rap song. Yeah, I just trap started beat, dabbling in that. Blah AI blah blah shit. blah. Yeah, that's some like, scary shit. I got a homeboy shit. that make he make animation with that shit and all this like. He's getting so good at it. Like, he can take a group chat and make it a, a TV show, and each person in the chat is a conversation, um, is the person on the... Damn. Yeah. Like, that's all he do is do that shit. Like, he used to be a game fiend. He stopped playing the game, and he just do AI programming. Like, art and videos and music and... Damn. Damn. No, I'm, I'm afraid of AI. Yeah, I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you. That's shit. Let me switch up the flow a little bit, because we almost forgot about Toxic Time. Oh, toxic, 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 toxic shit. Just right there. Toxic. Is that, he's like, oh, right there. So I'll go to you. I'll ask everybody around. Let everybody get their answer in. But my question for toxic time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you even do that, let's go ahead and take a pause. Who got a lighter? It's all good. A lighter? I just did some toxic shit, too. Are you ready? You can tell your you toxic time. Go ahead. I just. You got to click this. Actually, I'm not. I'm not even gonna say it. Right it's just, just it crazy because nah, because Shorty does cybersecurity, so she she beat she beat the type to be like, oh, you, this on, you on Switch? Nah, you yeah, on Twitch? Fuck fuck yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna be like she docks us. <laughs> oh no no no, we good we good we good we don't need to Shorty, do shit like that. Shorty is Shorty is crazy. Don't like no. She's, she's, fine, no. she's crazy. Yeah. Since we stopped it, mm-hmm. but definitely the uh, what I'm really gonna ask for toxic time is. How long would you deal with a chick without getting the buns? Without getting the buns? The buns. What's your limit to where you just like, man, I ain't getting this shit? Damn, to be honest, fuck. Ugh, I'm just on myself. Fuck. You can't, you. To be honest, the old me. <laughs> <laughs> I would, um, I would juggle so much that sex wouldn't be an option because I already know that I'm already going to get sex from somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, I dabbled in the polyamorous lifestyle because, like, you, when you're dealing with different women, it's like they bring out a different side of you. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you have a diverse portfolio. You know? Like, you got a Spanish junk that's, like, her first language was Spanish. You know, that that type of Spanish. Not the fake shit, you know? Mm-hmm. Then you got a black girl that's in the hood. Then you could deal with a, with a white girl... And you know, I haven't been with an Indian, so but I'm sure like I would love to wear like their little gowns and shit like <laughs> at their dinner, you know. <laughs> but um, as far as like if it comes to the buns, like I'm we're getting older now. It's like sex it has to has to mean like I gotta have a deeper connection with you because like I'm a, I'm a kinky bastard, you know what I'm saying? Like I I be choking you, you know, and I'm just like I'm hard. So it's like I gotta. What am I looking at? He the said, camera. look at the camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look like, out, look don't look at me, no motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but, nah, baby. I be choking. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, but I feel y'all know what you're saying. Yeah, bro. like, <laughs> so I, I can be very, very patient for the buns because I'm going to get the buns from somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and I'm not the type to be like, oh, I got to hit all four bitches in one week. No, I'm not on that type of time no more. Mm-hmm. But I'm I'm cool with having sex, like, once every three days, once a week. And I'm chilling. And then the other girls, if I'm getting something out of them, if they're serving me in ways, like, like I might I might fuck with a girl because she's always on my ass. You know what I'm saying? So she's the one that puts me in check, in a sense. I might fuck with another girl because she's so, I'm extrovert, she's introvert, so we balance each other out. Like, you know, she calls me. When I'm with her, I feel peace. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I can be with my fucking white girl and we go to PBR and I'm watching her ride the bull. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's you just, sex is not, you know, the end all be all for me no more. You know what I'm saying? I, I love myself enough. So no time limit, basically. As long as you're getting ass from somewhere else, you good. I, I can entertain you. And I got enough time to entertain, which is back to full circle. Like, that's why I'm like pissed 
and hurt how fucking much time I've wasted. Mm. <laughs> Imagine that time going to somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wasted a lot of time too, man. Just, for, just like knowing like a shorty ain't even gonna be like long term. Yes. I'm just like, well, fuck it. I know I'm probably like looking for something short term anyway. But right. I shouldn't be looking for nothing short term. Like that's just it, like you should be using that time for yourself because what you just saying. You just and now you know we're right now like. In the thirties, one of our one of our things is to choose the right partner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I swear I don't want to be forty, fifty, trying to date. Hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Because you you don't have that much friends. It's too late, man. Like I got I got OGs that are in their forties and fifties. They still knocking off twenty two <laughs> year olds. I don't want to be in that time. Like what the fuck are we gonna talk about? Not a day. And by that time, their mind is so warped. Because, you know, I thought it was going to ban TikTok, but for tax purposes, they're not going to ban TikTok. Why would they ban TikTok? Because TikTok funded the Ukraine war. I'm saying, like, though. Motherfuckers love that shit. They love funding the Ukraine war. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, <laughs> like, Damn. they ain't going to stop doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok ain't going nowhere. They love everything about that yeah, shit. TikTok ain't going nowhere. Not, mm-hmm. But my thing it was, it was promo. a bigger legislation than that. It was, like, not, it was on more than just TikTok. It was, I think it was on, like, Social media in general, or like it wasn't just TikTok though. Motherfuckers just was like, "Oh, they can ban TikTok." No, they can ban any fucking thing. That's what it was. It wasn't just about TikTok. So I don't even understand. Yeah. That shit was a distraction because it was. It's more than TikTok. Like motherfuckers got to read the legislation on that shit. How long are you waiting, bro? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Like he said, I'm older now, so I'm patient. But at the same time, it depends. Like if I'm. T- well, let me let me let me ex- let me let me go ahead. Some take, more context. Yeah, ask yeah, more yeah. condi- like, we need more like conditioning. Yeah, yeah, the conditions that I'm yeah, about to put is okay. You ain't getting ass from nobody else. <sighs> you are dating this woman and spending money on her. <sighs> How long do you continue doing this without getting ass until you just like fuck it? I'm I'm not getting nowhere. But I like her. But you like. Her. I'm not just trying to hit. Cause that changes. You everything. can say that. Okay, okay. You can say that. All right, all right. Uh, nah, it's a couple. Of years. I can wait some months. It's going to be some hard months, but I can wait some months, and after that, we got to have a conversation. Like, the same way they hit us with the, hit where is this going? Else. Like, hey. Where is this yeah, going? like, we got to have some type of conversation to figure out something, because I can't wait more than about four months crazy. That's a third of the year. Like, that's my cap right there. So, so what if, yeah, that's what if I like this days. woman? I'm 30, bro. Like, if we trying, but like, after four months, we got to have a conversation. Like, how long? I, no, I, how long? All right. Don't I'm dig All right. I'm going to just say, all right, I'm spending money on her and everything. You basically try, that's what you would do if you try to attract a woman to get some booty. Two weeks to a month. Two weeks to a month. That's I'm spending too long. money. Wait, wait, hold on. Like, dates? Like we might not go on a date every week though. We might go on a date this week. It, it don't matter. I'm just saying, you dating yeah. and spending money. Two weeks to a month. That's the most I would do. Because what does that mean? Two weeks to a month. Oh, okay, okay. Two so okay, okay. Two or okay. three dates. Because that's two or three days. Two or three days. <laughs> two two or three okay. dates. <laughs> okay. Like otherwise, it's like I'm not. I'm gonna feel like I'm wasting my money at this point. And because I know you're getting, you have to be getting it from somewhere else. I mean, you're a sexual being, so it's like <laughs> you ain't getting it. You ain't giving it to me. I'm just feeding you, and then you going to get fucked by somebody else. I ain't fucking I ain't with that, with that so. either. <laughs> we can get like two weeks to a month. We got three days. I don't give a fuck. Now, what if I told y'all the average for a girl is four links? Four links till she give up some sheets. Yes, because I hadn't. You know, I I I'm just speaking from an experiment experience. Like I was hanging out with this shorty, and she was just like, she just told me she's like, "Yo, this is the fourth Sweet. time we hung out." What up, Ange? She says, interesting, because I feel like we are all virgins, so if someone that you really wanted was celibate and they leave with that, there should be no issues. Oh, that's different. Now, this ain't even celibate. That wasn't a condition, though. Yeah, this celibate. Ain't no celibate. We're both in the streets. We met at the but club. We both celibate. <laughs> you celibate, yeah. you celibate but I'm not. Then. If shorty says she's celibate, I know I ain't getting no cheese. Yeah, it's like right. we know that. Like, mm-hmm. Right. But it ain't no But if it's a possibility, like, like the shorty dressing sexy and all this other shit y'all going on on a date, like, she getting, like, Getting fed, touchy feely, like, <laughs> but then you ain't getting no ass. Like, she, she, you getting to the point, but you're not like, you know, I'm gonna drive you know the shit out of her, but it's not like she ain't giving it to you. Like, y'all texting all you day, me now, and I can't, I can't even afford to be teased. Like, phone call financially, like, <laughs> I can't afford to be teased. It's crazy. 
<laughs> see, like, I ain't trying to waste a sick. I'm gonna answer it. before Dre though. I'm gonna <laughs> see. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You got me weak as hell. Nah, nah, cause, cause I, I, you know, not to put your business out there. I just remember, she, you know, he was dealing with a girl that was a virgin. Right. Yeah. Right. It must. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But put I'm it just, out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 I opened the door, but it's business is coming in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, nah, that's 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 why I laughed because I was like, damn, I I I want. I'm so curious to know the outcome of that situation, Dre. That's where I'm at with it. So like, did you ever get the cheeks? Get it, bro. Damn it. Cause that, cause, did you get it or no? Oh, no, 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 man. I have never taken a virginity. Damn. Yeah, to this day, so. yeah. Why we get? Oh, why we both feel like? <laughs> like it's all good. Yeah. Because we know the amount of time, resources, like, like, like we, like the. I think the, the topic of the night is just wasting time. Mm. Like, imagine if yeah. you knew that. Sh- but you know, what you saying? just said the sex ain't everything. He won't in it for the booty. Yeah, yeah. Huh? She led with the she couldn't like she said she led with the celibacy of virgin. Right. So is that he her? Knew. No, 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 no. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> that'd be fucked up. I was like, oh <laughs> shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, she, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, but um, nah, like it's like I won't even try to force the sex shit. But like I eventually that shit had to come. So you did get the cheeks. I need the. No, he's never taken a virginity. Damn. So with me, like (laughs) that that physical aspect would do help me. It 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 makes me feel closer to the person I'm with. Mm -hmm. And I can agree with that. It's an intimacy. Without it, like even if we max close, without it, it's like boom. Like you know, I mean, like we even closer. All right. So not to get too too nitty gritty. Um, were you faithful to her the whole time? Gets nitty gritty. He got <laughs> nitty gritty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's as nitty gritty as it is. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, cause like, cause no, I asked that because like, you know, like I, I'm like somewhat practicing Ramadan. I gave up sex and lint for like a month, right? Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, you like you do get close. You you got to find things that you have in common. Like you never realize how much sex you're having. Until you're with the person and y'all not having sex, and you're yes. just like, damn. Yeah. The second you walk in the door, you getting fucked, and then we're fucking again, and then we're watching Netflix, and I'm f- we're gonna fuck again. You know what I'm saying? But like without the sex element, you're just like, damn. Like okay, we do have. Y'all ever had sex? Like a lot of sex with a shorty, and then she took it away, and then gradually you look back and be like, damn, we barely fucking or we're not <laughs> fucking at all. <laughs> no, nah. I've, I've experienced that shit. She she took sex from you, like. We're in a relationship whole time, living together, and not fucking until we have sex one time. Boom, she gets pregnant, and then, yeah, and then not having sex while she's pregnant until like the last. No sex days. while she's pregnant, bro. Bro, bro that shit pissed me off. Seven too. to nine months. That's prime pussy. Bro, you don't think I know? When she I said, don't. when she told me she was keeping, it, I'm like, great, pregnant. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I can just nut in this bitch all I want. And Jeez. guess what? No. <laughs> no, did not have the opportunity. No. Oh, you miss it. Oh, Lord. Lord. Uh, bro, Lord, I was I like, Lord, 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 Lord. The women at work when I was told me to do that shit. They bro, I like, knew about you it. Was said it they were like, they said, shoot the club up. I was like, for real? Yes, she I live in it. Pregnant? I, like, you right. I live in it. It's crazy. But, bro. Damn. No. I'm sorry, yeah, damn. But you damn. ever had thoughts that she probably was stepping out on you? See, yeah, I, I mean, was that's why I like the. Like yeah, that. I mean, that's the thoughts now. Like, I'm gonna be taking her to court and all this other shit for the kids, for the kid, kids, Girl? kids. One woman, two kids. How you made the same mistake twice? Man, I was believing. I wasn't seeing correctly. I just thought shit was good. Mm. Like she was acting like she was good, but whole time she was getting prepared to take my son and move to Washington State. Like. She was like whole time, like looking at my face. I seen her the week that I went to. I sure she took my son and moved to Washington D.C. But then it was like, oh, you can see him whenever you want. I'm like, what the fuck? So I am. I'm driving over there like every other weekend to see him. 
but then like one time I go over there, like he was sick like the week before. Like I'm like, okay, I'm not just gonna drive over there because he's sick. I got work. You, you know, you can handle that. But then I, on like the fourth or fifth day, I, um, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna drive up there. So I go up there, and of course he's doing fine. Goddamn, yeah. So I'm talking to her. Everything's fine. I leave. She's like, yeah, she don't say shit. So Thursday she texts me that they're going to Washington State on Saturday. Mind you, I was already there. She could have just told me, like, oh, yeah, we'll be going. So she's like, oh, we'll, we'll be going for three weeks. We'll be back by your birthday. I'm like, cool. So after that point, I'm like, you know what? Fuck this bitch. I don't want to talk to her no more. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, So I'm not texting her, like, every day because I'm like, my son's not here. I can't see him. There's no point. I'm just waiting till you get back. So the third week, the last day of the third week, I'm like, yeah, I would like to see my son tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, we're not coming back. Uh, we have more support here, blah, 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 blah. Mind you, she's pregnant at this time, too. Like With the other baby. Like, two months pregnant. And I'm like, how the fuck we have... I don't know if these are my kids, still. I don't. Yeah, you got to take a test. Yeah, but they're in Washington, so now I have to send a lawyer. Cause I tried to do it here, but then she tried to send... She sent are you going to try support? Yeah. Both of them? Um, I haven't... They haven't started charging me for the uh, second kid yet. What are their names? You got a boy and a girl? I got, uh, I got all sons, yeah. yeah. Or the names out there for the world to know is out of you. I mean, shit, the story of Adidon. I don't know, yeah. nigga. <laughs> I don't I, know. Like, and the new, um, the youngest one, like, I just know his name. She just told me his name was like, oh, he was born like 12 days ago. His name is blah, 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 blah. And his height and weight. And I'm like. Bro, what is she on? I don't know. That's why I'm like, these can't what be is, my kids. What is the, all right, next question. What is the most dem- demonic experience you've had with a girl? Because that right there is demonic. <laughs> yeah. Like the whole time she was a no quiet, picture. You didn't get no picture. Nothing. Not even a, her on the titty. Nothing. It's fucking crazy. And like I used to bring her around. They met her like she like a real chill girl. Yeah, man. That's no, the whole time she got some whole other shit. I expect that. That's that was a sweet lady. Who, all right, who had a story where their girl was like all woman, um, and like they just she just wanted to get pregnant and then not talk to the nigga. Am I making that up or did someone experience that? Me say no. (laughs) (laughs) Like this girl, this girl, this girl happens though. Personally, got pregnant on purpose, and then they want nothing to do with the father because they, her mom, her sister, always like kind of somewhat of a cult. I I can't be making this shit up. It has someone had. I'm sure one of you guys know the person that had experienced it. That sound like me, because that's she left. No, her her family is like that. Like all women. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So it's like that. Or with them, like wow, you know, there's very few men in their family. They're not. What the they fuck are they gonna do with these two boys? Make them you feel me? feminine. <laughs> he said feminine. Damn. Could, bro, what much can they do? They Damn, only women. I mean, I mean, yeah, her she like she ain't seen. Her, she don't know her dad. You know, what it I'm was saying? okay. It was that sort. Yeah, yeah, so was that okay? She don't bad, know her bad. dad. Her her mom like don't got nobody. Got three daughters. Don't know their their dad's not around in none of their lives and all this. Wow. Stuff. So she just repeating now, the same now thing. I don't mean the over. boys gonna be feminine though. I mean that's my background. It's mostly females in my background, but me and my brother ain't feminine. You, I didn't, you just said that. Yeah, what you mean? I don't, I don't raised by no no males at all. At all. Me yeah, either, you, though. you had your yeah. brother. That's two boys. Yeah, but they <laughs> both the same age. <laughs> They one year boys. apart. Me and my brother only three years. <laughs> they I one doubt year, that's a. They one I, year apart and they're babies. They're gonna be fighting each other even earlier. They're not gonna let them fight. <laughs> you can't stop. <laughs> she don't even let them cry. You can't stop, boys. She don't even let them. Hey, she hey, even, hey, uh, hey, look, 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 look. She wouldn't even let him cry. Man. Every time he cries, she wiping a tear. God damn it, he can't fall and scrape his. She knee. got can't two now. Shit. She can't keep that up. They're gonna, they gonna be, they gonna be playing, and she's gonna be what exhausted. What are they gonna, gonna do with those boys? That's why I gotta take her to court and get my sons. Like, that's all I can do. Cause otherwise, cause I definitely don't want to talk to her ass. She still was in Washington State talking about, oh, you can see him whenever you want. I'm like, that's that's eight hundred dollars. Ticket? Yeah, there and back. Yeah. Well, not 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 if you book it in advance though. Yeah, but like way in advance. No, just a month. Expedia. It just depends, man. Cause she sent she said that shit to me, and then she showed me a ticket that was seven months in advance. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> how much was it? <laughs> Seven months in a ba- yeah. How much was you it? bitch? It was like three hundred, two fifty. Yeah. All right, so let, let let's do it because I I know Expedia they're gonna get it they're gonna get a promotional yeah, drop. Check the dates out. <laughs> nah, I got you, bro. Washington State, right? Yeah. Let's see. Man, that shit. Why are you doing that? Random Seattle, wrestling. Washington, right? We'll say Seattle, but it's not. All right, we'll just say Seattle, right? We're in March. Th- 
what's today, the 24th? Let's say you go to the 22nd to the 25th, right? All right, in April. I think you could do it. A month in advance. It should be like $400. But even then, there's no guarantee I'm going to be able to see my kids. And then what, and like you say, what if they not? He, that's wasting. Oh, I would go there. And lock of the hair, test. get the oh, DNA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, yeah. Like, I can send under, under 500, round trip. See, that's, nah, that's fair, that's I, fair. That's fair. I got things to handle. Look, I, mean, I can send a lawyer. That's the most I can do. I can send a lawyer. And it's either that or that five hundred coming out your check, regardless. It's coming out my check, regardless. No, no. If you go do that, it's, you can stop that shit. Yeah. Well, possibly, that's if it's yeah. That, yeah, it's, that's it's, 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 yeah. It's 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 it really ain't no positive. Well, I can make sure. Uh, no, 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 no because just, I can uh, make yeah, sure that I like if they're my children, I can make sure that I'm in their lives after that. It's gonna be. A and lot. you know, you know what the worst thing about it too? What you gotta file where the kids are at. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's demonic. I, think I took her here. I took her. Here. Oh, you took. Okay, bad. I took her here, but she sent the lawyer and lied and said that she was already in Washington, and it was like basically like, oh, I was wasting the court time, and I was like, no, I asked the clerk before I even filed any of this paperwork. I told him the whole story. Right. They told. Yeah, they. She tried to counter sue me for her having to come to court here. I I beat that one though. Yeah. And that right that there was for two thousand dollars. Yeah. I'm like. What? Where'd she get this price from? <laughs> that was the lawyer. I guess that was the fee that she had to pay the lawyer to attend this case. So the lawyer's like, oh, we could just sue him for this because he shouldn't have blah, blah, blah. But she lied to the lawyer the whole time. So the lawyer didn't. And the know. lawyer like, damn it, bitch. Well, it don't matter because she, gotta, gotta she still got to pay the lawyer. So. You're going to pay me? So, yeah. So that now I have to send the lawyer there to get a blood test and all this other shit. Yeah, this been on your mind today, hasn't it? No. Huh. No, I'm about to say, how this come up? Oh, he I, asked about it. I oh, mean, I yeah. also co parent kids too. You know, I got two daughters. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're cats, but they still oh, kidnapped. Oh, nigga. Kidnapped people down here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was about to say, I, I pay over a stack. 1K a month in child support is not the same. No. It's not the same. Jesus. That shit was crippling. Mm-hmm. No, I, could, I, could, I couldn't do it. I'll never get on child support. But what's up? You, you, I, yeah, I was gonna lighten the mood a little bit. Now nah, y'all can keep going. The demonicness. Come on, demonic, you got you got a demonic story too. I mean, I mean, yeah, I can't spread my demonic stories. Hell no. Nah. Come on, you keep them skeletons nah. in closets. I, I, I said too much last episode. I, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and take my time this episode. I'm gonna let y'all freestyle. Yes. But lighten the mood. I got a dumbass question for y'all. Shit, That's like, great, man. would you rather spend your life trapped inside or trapped outside? Conditions. Outside. We need conditions. Ain't no conditions. Outside. outside. We need conditions. Or inside. The house could be nice. Well, inside we house. need conditions. All right. Mansion. You live in the house terminally, or you live outside. Too. Mansion, yeah. food, everything stacked in the house, but you can never come outside. You or got a gym in you're there? outside, taken care of, but you just can't go in nobody's crib. Okay. You can't go in no buildings. I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> you are outside. <laughs> What about who <laughs> can't somebody be like, hey bro, come in and play the PlayStation? Be like, nigga, I wish. That's all you can say. Like, <laughs> nigga, I wish. Can you bring the game outside though. Yeah, if they outside okay. with a TV. Honestly, but if, when it get to raining, honestly, you better. To be honest, you said I'm, I'm taking I can't care have a of. Tent? Right? You taking care of? I'm not gonna make nobody home. I will. I will just trap. I I will probably stay outside because. Oh no! How am I supposed to shower? How am I supposed to fuck? You outside? Outside. Can you have a tent? You go. You outside? You, can't, you know, because that's, that's technically a inside of a building. No, that's <laughs> that's not a building. Nah, nah. That's technically a inside of a building. Yeah, you you made you a building. Nope. Right, so that's what I'm saying. So like rain, you I'm out. Fuck it all. Then. You go go under a tree, but then you could go under a uh, 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 where the park you can't got them fuck at all because you gonna you be can outside. Fuck. Public people duty. fuck outside. People do fuck outside. That's a whole different lifestyle. So <laughs> <laughs> I think you I will be shitting outside. I think personally, I'm gonna do outside. If it's if it's a go do outside. Now, do, would you to sauce up the question? You should have said the home that you are in now, forever. Everything's accommodated, food, whatever. Then outside, because like does work. Because if if I had if I was in a mansion, let's say you know they could classify a mansion with 3,200 square foot. Like, they'd be like, that's a mansion. But you can't go outside that mansion. That's what I'm saying. So, but like, if it was like a 10,000 square foot mansion. Basketball court, pool, like holy in the house. You know, in the house, yeah, I go in the fucking house. You know, basically that? quarantine for the rest of your life, though. We went crazy, <laughs> huh? We went crazy. I was but, uh, but imagine, imagine what you can do without the world distraction in a house. In a house, because you you're just you're just a sponge. 
You still could get the internet. But that's how it is you outside, get, too, though. Yeah. Huh? That's how it is outside. No, bro, it's raining. And I'm not saying you can't, so you can't invite people over. Rain. You can't even. So you, you can't, can't even, invite people over. You can't be covered from rain. So I'm saying you can't. And when you're outside, you can't you be can, covered from rain. So you just out there. You can be covered. You just ain't gonna be in no building. Being so I can't covered. be in a tent. That's what I'm saying. No, a, a tent, tent is enclosed space. But see, you. But he can't have no privacy. You can have privacy, <laughs> but you just better hide behind, walk behind somebody's fence so like how, in the backyard. So, so I can I can only eat at bodegas for the rest of my life. I can't go to no 7-Eleven. I can only hit the street. Tell them to break it outside. Yeah, like, hey, it out. Yo, can there. you imagine? Go there, Here's my me. card, bro. Yeah, give me a glizzy. And, uh, <laughs> you ain't getting no restaurant experience. You be like, open wow. The door, open the door. Like, hey, it ain't no cheese, On the bright like, side? Cookouts, you pulling up, though. You know how much money you saving not tipping? On both sides, though. Inside or out. You're saving a lot of money. But like, I feel like if you outside, you cooking out a lot. I feel like it's better for your health and shit, too. But you be eating squirrels. You outside, have to eat squirrels. Niggas you do outside. Be Everything else. Every animal outside. outside I can't tell you not nail. Every animal outside. caught COVID. They, they came. Healthy, they good. No, no they, they didn't. Did. They was immune. That's what I'm saying. They good. They, they ain't died. Yeah, they immune. No, that's why I was like, no, I don't believe in that shit. Because right. they ain't get no vaccination. Nothing. They nothing. great. Motherfucker. Change. Motherfucker, you are the change. You need your blood for. Uh, <laughs> you are the change. That nigga got Damn. all he know is asphalt. Like, uh, <laughs> like I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I was homeless for six months, right? When I was in a little journey, I was uh, I was living out of my car, right? It's just a two two seater Mercedes. I was just living out the car for six months, and that experience was was wild. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember the first time I shit outside. You know what I'm saying? It was like. The park bench right in front of the museum, that was like my spot. You know what I'm saying? I, why are you looking at me like that, Somebody, David? <laughs> you say, I know that spot. I'm That's why you tell your shit story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I never forget because because my dumb ass took a fucking nap and I didn't make it to the gym on time. Remember, I was living in my car, like I had okay. you know tinted windows, so I could park somewhere. I'd be perfectly fine. But I remember the first time I took a shit outside, and I was just like, "This is how a dog feels." <laughs> <laughs> This is this is exactly how a dog feels, like you know. What I'm saying? And I didn't play it off. Mildness. You know what I'm saying? I did like. I feel really, like I would just focus on that. Relax. I couldn't you relax. Now, nah, how I did it was like, thank God there was enough space between the toilet, the, not the toilet, but the, the the chair. So I just sat in the chair and just like, you know, act like I was. <laughs> 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 oh, that You're coughing like this shit. Yeah, I, uh, that, why you give us that visual? Oh, you know what I'm saying? God, just hitting the ground. I sat there wiped and I was just sat there and I'm just what like, did you, did, I know somebody came. And was like, it was nighttime, but, but I know in the morning yeah. when they was like, who, the <laughs> who, who forgot to pick up their dog shit? <laughs> Nah, and nah. You know you can tell the difference between human yeah, and dog you shit. You know though. that ain't no dog. Somebody still pick that shit up. You know that ain't, you no, know that ain't dog. no dog. <laughs> <laughs> a big ass dog. <laughs> big ass dog. <laughs> Broke up in your hand. Yeah. You know that ain't no dog. You dig it, say you know that ain't no dog. Nah, because me and Q was just talking like, yo, dogs' poop's not the same no more. Yeah. Motherfuckers would have known that was a human nah. poop off a of rip. Hell yeah, it ain't the same no more. It's not. It's not. But nah, that was wild. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just it, I needed that. I needed to experience it because like, this is when like life changed for me. Like I started doing the whole manifestation thing. Like ego death. It was ego death. I needed it. I needed it because it was right right before another hurt experience was when I lost my recent relationship. That one took a toll on me. Like that one made me go look for my father. Like you know what I'm saying. I I needed to be like, yo, why am I acting this way? Like why? Can I not love? Why can I not, you know, just focus? Like, Shorty um, hit me with some shit, like, two weekends ago. She was like, you know, I don't blame you for not loving me because you got ADHD. It's hard for, the, for for people like that to love. And I'm still trying to find research on it. I'm trying to find a correlation between ADHD and... and she probably just said that shit to fuck with you. And it and, it, and, it, and it's working. Yeah. It's fucking working because I'm sitting here thinking, like, well, she could have came to that conclusion herself. She could have felt like she dated some other people with ADHD and then just like, oh, see, that's why it's like this. Yeah. And then just pegged it as that. Or she just said that shit to fuck with you. And she, I mean, she did a good job. Because I'm still, you, you, I'm trying to think, like, why, what, what makes you think there's a correlation between the two? Yeah, no, nah, because it, it can't be. It can't be. Because motherfuckers with ADHD can love somebody just like anybody else. Right, but if they can't hyper focus on that love, then they expect it from other places too. Well, that's a different type of ADHD. 
That's that, the that's the definition. That's the I'm saying focus like, on one thing. like you can focus, but you can be focused on that person. So you saying you focus on other people? That's what I'm saying. I don't I'm think a, that's ADHD. You that's can get just, bored of somebody. This be a, you can be a great relationship. But you're just like, oh, I need some toxicity. See, I've heard maybe that. Person, yeah, I, 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 I be feel like though. I like, be feel like it's the I person. heard something similar though. Like that ADHD, you can't really truly love. Yeah, not I be thinking that's not real me. ADHD. But I be hearing that ADHD. you don't really. Do you? Do they say that you listen to them? You a good listener? Yeah, you you like. I pick I be up like, my what phone. The fuck? You pick up your phone. I don't even noticing it. I won't be in your hand scrolling the whole time. Somebody but talking. I I stop I stop my relationship with my phone. I went to jail this year, mm. so I stopped my relationship with my phone after like, I was only in there for six days. But you know, like it, I took it as a detoxing experience. Like you know what I'm saying? Because when you're in jail, you're dead to the world. Like you are dead. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like you sitting there with a whole bunch of men, all of them lacking. They had no purpose. Oh, I, I took your lighter. You know they they ain't got no purpose. They they hoping that these girls will send them some fucking money and all this extra shit. But it's like once I was like away from my phone for a while, that's when I like I'm not even on social media as much. But then again, I'm fucking still sad because I'm wasting time not doing shit. You know what I mean? But is social media really doing shit? See, I deleted my shit in twenty twenty nineteen. I just made a new Instagram like two a month and a half ago, and I don't use that shit because they don't fuck with ad blockers. On Instagram, so. <laughs> I think said, I'm not trying to see no ass cheek yeah, I mean, or no social media. Yeah, look, because my Instagram born to sell is just to be like four pictures if motherfuckers post it or not, and that's it. <laughs> like, that's it. And I fuck with that, but they don't be trying to show me my shit, so I don't fuck with Instagram, but I don't fuck with, like, man, social media is not good for you. No. Like, it's not good for you. Like, that shit is, it, it influences your thoughts on a deeper level, like, on a subconscious level. Oh, no, like, let me see that. It influence your uh, it influence your thoughts on so many levels. You know what I'm saying. So it's just like you still don't use lighters. Mm-hmm. That's a good. I'm trying to buy some matches and I keep forgetting because I'm like that shit is not good. Yo, for me. yo, somebody let me uh, let me get a match the other day. Like my blood and <laughs> that shit. Was that shit hit and um that shit. You no, know I mean that hey, shit yo. struck smooth. Like <laughs> yeah, that shit struck smooth as fuck. Just straight up. I'm like, oh shit! That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that shit hit better, and you can oh, yeah, taste the like the butane the weed. not in there. Yeah, like that's why. Cause I, like I don't y'all know me. I don't believe shit. I like to experience the shit for myself, and I taste the difference. It's like <laughs> that shit is not good for you. Like <coughs> a bigger research is what butane does to your lungs. Mm. How does that cause cancer? That's what really what most. That's the carcinogen. Yeah, yeah. And we 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 inhaling it. We inhaling that shit. Like so. That's why I really think the cancer could be coming from more too. Like, we don't, you know, we might not be looking at the real source. That's yeah. true. You never know. Yeah, it could be. Real. It's and not y'all niggas smoking tobacco. Like, what's up with y'all? Why y'all hurt? I smoke Fronto, but like that's the same I thing. It hurts. Right now, though. But it's it's clean it though. though. Mine is all clean. Like it's all clean. No though. chemicals. That shit. That shit. I need that. I need that little. You know what I'm saying? It's like I don't like backwoods. And yeah, so you, I smoke cleanly Fronto. That's you it. drink. You like them fruity drinks. <laughs> Like, yeah, why? Like, yeah, like, yeah, I like wine. Yeah, you like the shit that tastes good. <laughs> I like some rock. I, mean? yeah, I need something that bite. You feel me? <laughs> so like, <laughs> nigga say you like the fruity drinks on weed. Get a mixed drink, and then I get like uh, a shot mm. <laughs> along with that. I feel that. Just to feel the fight of the shot, then I'm like, all right. I'm on this. I'm a, I'm against alcohol right now, though. If I say when you gonna quit drinking, I was about to. No, I I don't. I I stopped drinking about three weeks ago. Because I had an experience where my friends saw me out of character. Mm. And it's weird to say I am I went out of character because then that means that me being around them is a character. No, I mean, you was out the spirits. Yes, for sure. And um, we had a horrible night. Shorty passed out in the club. We had to make her throw up. It was me and four girls in the bathroom. They all taking turns putting a finger in her throat trying to make her throw up. I'm sitting here in the back. Embarrassed because I'm the one that invited her. Reflex was on ten, bro. I'm mm. trying to tell you something, bro. And then when they got it, it was it, it was crazy because it was mm. it was one nurse, one army vet, and a random bitch at the bar. Don't even know who that bitch was, and she's going crazy. And one of the girls in her ear like, you know, Nico only likes white bitches, and that's all she kept on saying, like, you like white girls, you don't love me. And I'm just like, how the fuck? Who put that in your head? And so I kept on drinking. Um, then we was leaving. 
and a car almost hit me. So I punched the fucking the window. You know, so I dodged and I punched the fucking window. Dude gets out the car, try to get in my face, right? We got into it, and then I was like, "Bro, just leave. Like, if you don't leave right now, I'm gonna fuck you up." He's like, "He's like, no, you hit my fucking car. I'm gonna call the cops." I said, "Do it, do it right now, or or just just go." So I run up on him. He gets in his fucking car, and I'm sitting here chasing the fucking car for two streets. Like I like I, I really thought that I was gonna catch that motherfucking car. He's in a fucking Subaru all-wheel drive. I'm not catching that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, so, so they, like... Bro, the fact that you got bitch. two streets on them, though. Like, yeah. Damn, that, that, yeah, that, 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 20... Like, damn, niggas 24, 25, 26. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, they're, they're really close. It's not like, yeah, you know, yeah. like a yeah. block, a mile yeah. away. Wait, so did you hit him or no? He like, no, yeah. I didn't get a chance to. Okay. He ran. No, did you hit his car? Yes, I hit his car. Yeah, I punched the shit out of the car. you punched his car? Yeah. Okay, so he almost hit you and then y'all parked? No, uh, we stopped in the middle of the street. Like it was, it was, bro. You know when you drunk, you get senses. All right, let me tell you how this happened. I'm walking, the car comes, I spin because like I just, I just spin and I just punch the shit out of the back window. I know, I, can you know, I didn't that. hit the front window, I hit the back. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you were walking. Yes, walking across the street. I thought you were driving. I'm like, uh, uh-uh. uh. I'm like, how the fuck? Let me see that. I'm picturing you fucking punching the car, reaching your arm out of the car and punching the car. Like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> hell no, hell no, I ain't that crazy. Hell yeah. But no, after that, I was like, you know what? This was a, this was fucking embarrassing. I need to stop drinking. And plus, like, I'm against it because, like, I'm trying to, like, if I'm dating a girl, I don't want her to drink, like, every weekend because then I know your pH is off. That's like, true. You know what I'm saying? There's no way you're drinking four days out the fucking week, even if it's something small. Like, like you know how they say women are aging that fast. Men are aging, like, wine. Mm-hmm. And that's because women fucking drink and abuse alcohol. Cause alcohol stay in you. Alcohol don't go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So, but you don't think men abuse alcohol? Hmm? Okay, I'm just making sure because I'm like I feel like motherfuckers abuse alcohol. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think women drink more alcohol than men. You think so? Yeah, he's yeah, I think so. I mean, and now women are starting to drink, not drink, but smoke a lot of fucking weed, yeah. like niggas. Like, they, they go into the struggle what we went through. We used to roll their blunts. We don't roll their blunts no more. Uh, yeah, Pastor, yeah. Some guys, that's, that's just a fuck you up. Bro, they they smoke heavy. I ain't going to. Yo, that's twice, like, bro. You got to relax, you bro. Damn, bro. Get, <laughs> y'all ain't going to shorty and shit out. Smoke your ass. It's yeah. I'm like, shorty, damn. Yeah. Bro. Like, who, like, you're fucked up. You're hurt. <laughs> so, Angie, <laughs> do you know some true female alcoholics, too, though? Like, do you know more? Do you know yeah, more know female true or male, male alcoholics? Yeah. Like, from your experience. I know girls would admit it more. I think, what what do girls do? Compare, I think, like. So, you know more male than female alcoholics. Women are more prone to black out. Women. She more said women. more women. Okay. That's Okay, bet. Okay. Yeah. And that's what fucks them up. When they turn 30, 40, and that, that, that metal in their body doesn't metabolize, like, they get the fat fingers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like man. it just it, like that's that how we're, fingers, the sausage fingers. That's Bro, a thing. That's what ne- next time you go to the fucking, um, next time you go to like a black club or whatever club, and you're with older people, there, just just look at their shape. They can't reverse that with the gym. You know what I'm saying? It's, See, it's weird. I feel like um, people in general. I feel like right now when we're younger, we're doing irreversible damage to our bodies that we don't see until we're older. That's why I try to like really mitigate what I. Cause I feel like we don't see that shit later. That's why your grandma looked like that. That's why your dad looked like that. Blah blah blah. Cause of how they live their lifestyle. And if you want to be like that, I think you should do the same. What's wrong thing. with looking like that? Like that. Yeah, once you, once you, like you said, you don't want you forty and you ain't alone. Fuck it. Let your body go. I, but, hey, but, but, but I, I ain't gonna lie. That's what it get though. Like a lot of people just be like, oh. I got my old it, lady it, it at ha- home. It has to be. It has to be genetically. Um. See, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't believe in the genetic shit because I feel like motherfuckers eat like their parents too. But I, but here's why I say that. Because, all right, I, two examples, right? My grandma and my mom, both of them smoke cigarettes. My mom got more health um, situations than my grandma. My grandma's 86. All right, I hung out with her the other day. <laughs> and I was like, damn, grandma, you never you never going to you know put the, put the cigarettes down? And she's like, no. You know what I'm saying? I'm like... I'm like, dude, you're like 85, 86 years old, and you're still smoking cigarettes. Like, what, what, what do your mom and dad do? They smoke. 
they smoked to the day they died. Like, they was in their 90. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, and they, their parents smoked. So it's like, I think it's like, yeah. like, what we, what we can sustain, it's like, oh, it's like this. When you spray a roach <coughs> and it doesn't die and it goes has kids, now those kids are immune to yeah, that fucking that. spray. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Them smoking so long, they that yeah, mutation is like, yeah, like, yo, that's why you got to ask some shorties, like, yo, so how did your mom bounce back from the pregnancies? Because you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of girls be blaming a taco meat stomach on you. And it's just like, should have went with the C-section. See, nah, see, that's why they can't blame that shit on you. They blame it on the kids. Right. My thing is just like, no. Because if you got some ass too, the kid gave you that too. So you ain't, you know Sexy saying? Red is titties. looking fire. Yeah, yeah, you know like what I'm that, saying? Kids like be giving women too, titties yeah. and ass. Like, that's how I be feeling like. I give women titties and ass because I give them children. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> you, I, mean, I wouldn't have that shit without it. That if if your shorty is getting, I'm giving BBLs. That's what they get. <laughs> <laughs> but they natural, natural. BBLs. Is but crazy. they natural though. They they real. They they ain't going nowhere. Maybe baby butt lifts. Yes. Yeah, baby baby yes. butt lifts. Wow. Baby butt lifts. I'm giving BBLs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving BBLs. This is crazy. Baby butt lifts. And titties. Yeah, no, nah, I just... um. So, as far as, like, new music, I got a project coming up. I'm working on it. In my head. See, yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. It's um, it's called uh, A Year Without You. You know, a little, a little heart ballad type I'm of thing. Like, oh, some ballads on that joint. Mm-hmm. I'm singing. I know you're doing a lot of things right now. How's the um the game show going? We just finished our last episode two weeks ago. Shout out to the full package. Um, they we 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 did it. We got like ten episodes. Not in the process of being editing. Um, it was a good experience because like imagine American Idol but with local talents. It was good like giving these artists challenges every other week. They had to team up one week. They had to talk about love. They had to talk about um a favorite childhood memory storytelling. Um, their favorite song, remix, no, create a song, p- like make them pick a country and make a song, you know, that's, you know what I'm saying? Like did some dude, some did Afro beats. This one artist named Ayana, she did a, a mixture of opera and, and R&B. Okay. Oh my God. The blend was seamless because she's a, she's a trained opera singer. She didn't tell us that in her fucking bio. So a lot of these artists, they just were just so vague, but like they was really on some shit that I just was, so happy to see. Where can um, people watch this at? Uh, we have not got done with the full production. Um, Y'all gonna but pitch like, it? We're going to pitch it. We just, we just, we're just pitching it. If it gets picked up by a network, great. If it doesn't, YouTube, and then we work on season two with a new cast, new judges. We had, like, we had five judges. Um, we had 22 artists at first. Mm-hmm. Got into the last five. And actually, the I will say the person that won, Dizzy Dev, shout out to him. Um, he got fifteen hundred dollars. Mayana was the R and B singer. She got a thousand, and Charlie Ra. She was this European, like she just like it was her sound was so crazy because she produced, but she like she like anime and she was mixing so many anime sounds in her production. It was just like it was just crazy, mm. but she got five hundred. Came in third, but um, it was, I was just excited because like. I was happy to see a hip hop artist win, a rap artist, because right now the genre at its state right now is kind of dying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I like I just be sitting back like, damn, like only a few people can really come back and save hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Kanye's on. doing his thing. Got a shot of Hennessy. Real quick, shot of um, check. you know you you can pitch that shit to Tubi. I would love to get a check from Tubi. Um, like there's a, I'll send you the link. Is a way to pitch it. it. It doesn't cost you anything. Like once y'all get the um, you can pilot pitch it to more than Tubi. Yeah. Once you get yeah, get the pilot episode and then a little preview, whatever they call it, the little promotional video. Mm-hmm. You can pitch it to them. Um, it doesn't even cost. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, like you can get it on more than. And we, more I than feel like Tubi. we got and we got. I feel like we got good um, good lighting. Good. Yeah, that we, lighting is important. Yeah, we. I think we. We use the bar Buko, so shout out to them. Oh yeah, Buko. I mean, I'm excited to see. I I was just a regular like a host, like I was just on the side talking to the artists. I was just interviewing them in the back. I, um, so that was like my role. Just yeah, it was good. Shout out to the full package because uh, I be forgetting about that shit, but that shit's about to. It's just different. Mm-hmm. It's just different. But With, oh yeah, it's local. Yeah, it's local. local. Yeah, that's dope. But yeah, a year without you, man. That's the next project coming out. It's gonna be ten songs. Shout your Instagram out. Shout your pages. Uh, 
lost in the smoke, but I gotta change it, man. I gotta do a whole rebrand. You know, I want to detach from from the from lost in the smoke. If I'm being honest, you know, I'm getting older now. Cause of Jared Springer. I yeah, I don't I don't want to be attached to that. Brand, yeah, like yeah. like St. Patrick's Day, I was at St. Patrick's Day, and I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I I be fake drunk in the club. I don't really drink alcohol. You know what I'm saying? I I be fake drunk, so I get a virgin cranberry every time. Hey, so. Um, so how you acting when you fake drunk? Bro, I'm catching the vibe of everybody else. You know, if if you're uppity and, and goofy, I'm uppity and goofy too. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just I'm I'm more. Let's just say I let the music take over. I feel more comfortable to let the music take over because, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just rocking in my own world. Like I might just I might fist pump by myself. I might they put Chief Keef on. I might go crazy by myself and be okay. You know what I mean? Okay. But like. But they, but me doing that in that space, they excuse that. They're like, "Oh, he's just turned. Mm-hmm. Niggas don't know I'm really sober as fuck." You know what I'm saying? Do almost yeah. You but like, get away with being yourself in the club. Hey. Man, I always get the juice. I always get the juice. Yeah. It, yo, it's free, right? Bro, it's free. I'm about to act a fool. Virgin cranberry. No, no, they be taxing, bro. Bro, I ain't gonna. I've I've paid ranges. What, what is a virgin cranberry? Is this a cranberry juice? It's cranberry juice. You tell them to put the salt around the cup, the okay. lime, and you give it lime. So it looks like. See, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just be like, yeah. just give me a cranberry juice. I be drinking juice all night. Yeah. Free juice all fucking night. Yeah, that's so, yeah. how yeah. I like. And I've got, I've got, they got yeah. ways for people to be tricking. I've, I've actually, and I've gotten like, <laughs> I've gotten time. caught, you know, being fake drunk. Why? You no, know, like How? literally, St. Pat, like my homegirl Claire, she was with me, and I'm sitting here drinking you know what i'm saying looks looks presentable you know what i'm saying and dude was like nigga you drinking juice <laughs> i was like whoa was it because of the cup or and what? then huh no it was regular oh, okay. you know what i'm saying and the then fuck i don't know but toy jumped in like no it's a vodka and cranberry i'm like you ain't got a lot of him he knows like this <laughs> like i don't know how he he just knew but it's like i, I get called out but like <laughs> nigga you drank your juice and he bad yeah when i was in nigga, la you <laughs> And Damn. when I was in LA for a couple of cranberry juice with no ice, it was like ten bucks. Yo, you ever played a drinking game with people that don't drink? What was they drinking? Water? No, like they drink, but you don't. Yeah. So, yeah, like I yeah, played one recently. Ginger shots, nigga. I played one recently. I got ginger shots, but then Jeez. somebody was like, "No, nah, you gotta drink alcohol, man. You gotta drink." I'm like, "Bro, I don't drink." Like they're like, "No, nah, you gotta drink." Cause like you don't got no repercussions, you right. just gotta smoke. I'm like, I'm not gonna drink. Though. Like there's no, I'm, there's nothing you that's gonna make me drink. drink. When was the last time you drunk? Like, Two, three years ago. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. You got three chicks. In a minute, I ain't fucking with that shit. So wild. All right, what y'all got? What y'all got? How y'all feel about this, this, this Kendrick beef, man? Y'all, y'all been trying it? to bring it up, so. I'm not even tapped into it yet. Okay. It ain't in my algorithm. <clears throat> um, I ain't even heard the song. I don't think it's I don't think it'll be anything. Damn. I think they'll just be uh just be like side dissing each other on their songs like cuz I well, I hope J Cole drops a diss. I don't fuck with J Cole, so I hope he drops a diss. I think that shit would be hard. You don't fuck with J Cole? Like I never have like never have. I don't know why. What you thinking, Dre? I agree with Chuck. They ain't really going. They ain't gonna be like a full like. I see that. They ain't uh, spitters. They ain't, they ain't dropping straight disses or like saying each other name or whatever. Or like really getting at each other. They just yeah. They just boxing around. Right. Yeah. Uh, y'all so y'all tapped in immediately like as soon as y'all heard. I mean, I uh, sure. somebody you know Twitter motherfuckers post Twitter shit yeah. and uh, uh-huh. posting the lyrics and stuff. And then I went and listened to it. It was hard. It was my, hard. Yeah, my reach wasn't organic. But someone had to tell me that happened. Yeah, but when I go back and uh, look at it, I'm like, this shit was hard. But it won't. He won't taking no blows for like pause. He wasn't taking no, no jabs for real. Yeah, he wasn't taking no jabs. Mm. Like it won't. Like okay, Direct. like Drake ain't gotta say nothing. All he was saying was like, oh, I'm better than the motherfuckers. That's all he was saying. I mean, he was talking about. Them. But he ain't say nothing like push a T to be doing yeah, or like yeah, yeah, yeah. like be- even like. But you, but here's the thing though, right? With with hip hop beef, it's it's a bait and switch situ- situation. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I dissed you on a song. You're gonna respond, 
But just know, my next song is the actual song that's going against your song. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I fished, you hooked. Is he going to fall for this again? Ooh. That's what I'm saying. I don't think Drake, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Drake fell for it with Pusha T. That's true. He don't want it to happen again. Because that's when Drake Drake dropped the Duffy, uh, what is it? Guppy. Duffy. Guppy. Yeah, Guppy. Duffy. Duffy. Duffy, Duffy freestyle. freestyle? Yeah, Duffy Freestyle. I, yeah. I don't remember that shit, but I know it was. I mean, I'm guessing it was hard. Motherfuckers say it was hard, but I that's what they say. Yeah, I, I think he said. Virginia. I remember charged up. Quick response. Same day. No, motherfuckers say Duppy. Duppy motherfuckers say Duppy was good. It might, it was no, I good. think I might have been listening because I was watching academics. He might have just been meat riding because he be meat riding. No, nah, Duppy was all right. I gotta revisit. Added on was, was, was oh crazy. yeah, that shit was clinical. That shit, was like, that shit that was hurt his heart. <laughs> that that hit his heart and. He killed Jay Z's beat. Like I don't even listen to Jay Z on that shit no more. Like that shit, Jay Z version come on. I'm like, oh wait, wait, wait pause. Oh yeah, no story, version. OJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause that shit is not hard in comparison. You got, um, you, you, I be seeing Pusha T all the time. Right. Yes, he, he works out at One Life. I see him all the time. The one? Right, Monticello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to be he used to be a demon slayer, and that's why I call the people that go up at five o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. he used to be there early as shit. But lately, he's just been like afternoon shit, and I catch him, and I go just go walk the treadmill next to him. <laughs> that was some weird shit. I ain't gonna lie. He's like, like oh, push him. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> howdy. <How's the> <laughs> yeah. You know, I saw you yesterday. You walking the same miles. Oh. He picks the same treadmill every time. It's like this is got your name on it, right? <laughs> like, he's up. Yeah. Right, all he does is walk is walk three miles, and. I know he's noticed me because I because I came into the gym like with the fur coats on like just, oh like, shit yeah <laughs> and now he he be like what the <laughs> fuck like, yeah of course, yeah like who, yeah like, don't and I every like, time yeah. I'm in that mode I'm just that's when I point at him I'm like what's good bro you know what I'm saying I, I make like, sure yeah. you see me I, and yeah, I like yeah, yeah, every yeah. like oh yeah he's cool what's up fam exactly I'm doing my thing you doing your thing you know, we gonna chop it up later <laughs> right but that's why that's why my virtue is like I gotta blow up like I gotta stop getting in my way and blow up this year so I can just. So them niggas could be like, damn, I be seeing that nigga at the gym. Yeah, like this the year, man. Been around. Right, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Uh -huh. And I just like, be chilling. Oh, I know him. Like, hold right. on. Be they, they this the year, man. Because yeah, I, I'm, I appreciate, it, bro. I just don't want to deal with the Jerry Springer shit, man. No more. Yeah, like, just, that shit. They, 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 they bring that shit up. I just be like, man, just do a complete rebrand. Uh, you gotta have not nobody even mention that shit at all. Right. It's so gonna take top, nigga. It's gonna take three months. Everybody don't try to go up. Fuck it. Yeah, it was going up. Yeah. Would you do like reality TV? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm down to do whatever. So you, you be watching? What you be watching? You got the personality. Bro. You fuck with Coulda Been House? No, I haven't watched that. Okay. I, I appreciate that. Like, I, um, I'd be like, I would do a dating show. Yeah, we were thinking about doing a jump. You should. Right, right, what right, the right, fuck? Right, don't, 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 don't. We ain't gonna get I, this I, idea. Yeah, I don't want yeah, 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 Oh, we got that. Yeah, I know he would tell everything. I think you should. Yeah. I think you should. Because one show I want to bring back is that one where, like, um... One girl, three guys. You kidnap the guys, and you have the girl go, go toward a house. Oh, because I feel like we're in a different yeah. age bracket now. Like, this shit could really be a little yeah. different, different. Because they'd be really like, oh, like can you imagine? That shit. That shit going in the nigga crib, he got the, the flesh right there on the couch, everything. slump, like, you know, catching them slipping. They're like, yo, what the fuck? Like, yeah. Y'all get out. Like, Where's bro? Right. We're here. So we, we sit you. there and be like, so yeah, like, this is the roommate. shit. That nah, in this day, in this Bro, day, hell age, nah. that's that shit is gonna, it, it will that, that, that shit's gonna fuck some up. Niggas, niggas will be <laughs> nosy as a bitch. Right, and I wouldn't mind, and I wouldn't mind doing repeated people. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause the girl, the girl is gonna know the guy, but she has to make a decision off the way he's living. Basically, you know, that's a good idea. That's what I'm saying. We need to. I mean, it's already been taken, but we need to bring that shit back. Yeah, I see you oh, can bring yeah. it back. Yeah. Um, MTV was on some shit with they, with they, with they. With their reality, they yeah, were never they, on that they, MTV shit. music shit, but they were on that reality yeah, show shit. Yeah, but you know they got a lot of love is blind. I I haven't watched that Spectrum show where it's like people that's dealing with like autism. Oh my god, there's a dating show. For yeah, them? they have one on the Spectrum or something. Yeah, on the got? Spectrum, Spectrum of Love. We watch fire marketing though. Fire we don't watch marketing. anything. The world is. I won't. Like I'm like. I'm not watching. I, I'm not right. watching these people. Uh, blah, Be an blah, experiment. Blah. They really, they just. To me, it's like anything in front of a camera is already not authentic if they know the camera's there. And then, because I'm like, 
I can't watch none of that shit and think it's real because I'm like a motherfucker that act like they just random. How can I hear them? They have a fucking microphone on their back. I can't take none of this seriously. All these people were like media trained for the most part. It'd be like, so I can't take none of that shit seriously. Like, and who gonna act like themselves? We on the camera right now. We're not gonna be our true selves. Nah, fuck that. Like your one hundred percent. So I can't. Yeah, I'm in my. Yeah, my I'm in my I skin. Got real. Yeah, I'm, I'm myself. But I'm talking about like you gonna be real. like you gonna yeah you ain't gonna say everything that you would normally say on a reality TV show. Yes, on any camera, I would. Um, I would. You gonna act a certain way? This is gonna be you for reality TV. I this guess you say TV I probably you. wouldn't give a hundred percent. I would ninety. I would never that shit. Never have to scratch my ass. <laughs> type shit like oh stuff like yeah 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 I'm not like, gonna, yeah, yeah I it's just like you would be a whole different version of yourself yeah you're right like if ain't nobody around I'm gonna pick my fucking nose I might but yeah. I'm not about to do that shit on camera might drop, right. yeah, drop, yeah, drop, drop food on, on the shit. carpet in the crib I might pick this shit up and eat it I you, might you, <laughs> you might I, I might too why I don't, I don't mean, care it's in the crib just be like damn in the crib if you're outside it's a problem what is something y'all dropped on the floor that y'all really had to pick back up a chip. <laughs> yeah. it's gotta be something saucy, something that can't pick up the ground quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like you want something? I know right, ice cream. Y'all would, y'all, you drop a grape. <laughs> you yeah, can get that I was, bitch. I was yeah. about to say a grape. Yeah, yeah. Like shit, be real. Okay, that's the ground bitch. Right, right. Who's my immune system? Yeah, you right. A gummy bear. Oh, I got a lot of things I eat off the floor. Um, not a five course meal. Bears, you you wouldn't eat a gummy bear off the floor if it fell. A piece of not candy. Not off the carpet. <laughs> a piece, ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> Take so, the hair off. so if you in the bed <laughs> and the gummy bear like roll to the covers. I mean, a co- the covers. Ain't see, he's doing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. he doing it for the camera. So let me stop. No, no, no. He doing it for the camera. I'm talking about a gummy bear on carpet. Is is just what I'm talking about? Like anything sticky or anything like that. A gummy bear. How sticky is your gummy bear? It's a gummy bear. How sticky is your shit? Ugh. I still like your gummy bear. Like, yeah, fucked up. Yeah. I mean, I mean baby. <laughs> I said it again. Any shit. Any type of food you can pick up carpet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Gummy bear will definitely be melting. See, I, I, could possibly I wouldn't, do, I would never sticky. eat nothing off that my food. It's got to be melted. I got too much. Ca- I got cat see, hair. See, oh, I can't, see, I can't yeah. do that. Oh, I Living forgot the, about pets. Yes. Yes. I don't see, have pets at the crib. You got to inspect. You just don't throw it in your mouth immediately. You got to inspect. Dirt don't hurt. I don't know. What if that... That time frame is, it has to be a one motion thing. You know what I'm saying? The time frame is already there. I don't yeah, think it's five saying. seconds. Five seconds too damn long. It's instantly there. Two five seconds like, is too damn long. You, like, if you look there. at some food on the ground for five seconds and then decide to eat it, you, ugh. Yeah, yeah. You, that shit gotta be like, no, Like, you oh, really damn. must have wanted that shit. Yeah. Then. Right. I'm, I'm not gonna blame you then. You really wanted that shit. You look at that shit. For five seconds? I got a weird thing. You had somebody on the podcast drop something on the, on the carpet and ate it. We did. What they eat? And we ain't judge. Chick. Yeah, it was a piece of chick. Fried? Fried. Nah, was nah, it nah, wet? Nah, it wasn't no fried it was chicken. Fried. It was not fried. Oh. It was a piece oh, of like oh, teriyaki oh, oh, barbecue? chicken. Burger ah, chicken. so it was. So oh, it had shit. sauce on it. Not too much, though. It was more. I thought them bitches. It, it, uh, it was saucy. It was saucy. It was that nigga bro. gangster. Yeah. That nigga. Yeah. Yeah. That ain't no bullshit. Yeah. 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 I would yeah. never. She said, yeah, I get bro his props. Even if weed touches the floor, I'm like, it's gone now. I can't. Wow, wow, wow. Now, hold on. I picked the tree up if it touched Nope. It, what? Oh, Man, you, I could, see, you could you could you, you could sweep you could sweep yeah, right now. Bro. You probably get like ten blunts. Bro, I had uh somebody drop on the bro, Somebody had a whole like a gram out, spilled that shit on the carpet. I'm like, fuck, it's over, right? This motherfucker pulls out the vacuum, takes the two, puts a t shirt on the shit, vacuums the weed up, it's stuck to the fire. Vacuum. Put it back down and rolls that shit. I'm like, oh, yeah, what yeah, the fuck? Yeah, I'm yeah. like, you just did something. Recovery. <laughs> I'm like, you just can't just do that shit. Like, you ain't just do something. You're supposed to record yourself doing that. That the was that. That's, that? that's actually fire. Yo, yeah. like, that shit was genius, bro. Shit was she, said, she said that's sick. It, 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 it is sick. <laughs> <laughs> but how, what, what, how, far, how far have you gone just to smoke a blunt, though? Oh, my God. Where has I gone to smoke a blunt? I would probably say, like, the roach blunts. That's probably, like, Mm. The worst I do, I don't really go too far to. That. Have y'all ever did a zombie one? That's what I mean. Yeah. The roach blunt, oh, zombie yeah, blunt. Yeah. Like that's what I mean. Like I do that shit. I did one two days ago. So I mean, like <laughs> I ain't really, yeah, shit. I ain't really pressed over. That's crazy. What do you mean the furthest? Like, have you ever seen a blunt on the ground? That shit just made me smile because I was with I was I don't know because I was with my Nah, see, yeah, I do see blunts <laughs> on the ground, but I ain't picking up somebody. Listen, y'all can, y'all can light that with a lighter. Uh, Listen, I was uh I don't I don't know who I was with. We were at Seven Eleven out there, you know what I'm saying, by state, 
And we see the whole, it was a fat ass blunt on the ground. It was like, we gotta take it. We, we picked that shit up. Anyway, anyway smoke. We it. unraveled I'm it. Like we re rolled it. Oh, okay, you re rolled it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, was it, are you trying to say that was me? I don't, I don't know who it was. You re rolled yeah. it. I don't know who it was. We, 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 unrolled, we took the weed out, re rolled it in a fucking zigzag or some shit and smoked that shit. That's like, fair. Dead ass did that shit. That's fair. Yeah, because yeah. the spit. That was a long time like, ago. It's on the weed, though. Yeah. It's on the weed. Yeah, Spit's yeah, yeah. on the weed. Yeah, but that's going to burn away. Rewrapping it is more appropriate. Yeah, that shit was a backwood. Still, that shit would have burned Yeah, 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 yeah. You find a blunt on the that ground. That was way back in the day, though. I'm See, I ain't never found the full blunt on the ground Neither. out and about in the world. I'm always seeing like people probably working outside of a restaurant and they were smoking this and they just left their shit. I'm not about to pick that up. Oh, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I tell you a crazy shit, though. All right, I told y'all that I um, my tire had popped, mm-hmm. right, in the highway. So I thought I fucking, um, I thought I lost, lost my wallet out there. So I drove back there at night, right? I went out there and was chilling. And I don't even know what took hold of me. But I just started walking through the grass on the highway, just walking through the grass. Where I found $135. God damn. Yeah, I got a video of it. Like, it was just literally, like, like it started with a, a, a couple dollars, then a, then a five, then a 20, then a hundred dollar bill. That shit worked as well. On a fucking, on a fucking highway. That was busting. I, 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 I showed you the video. This shit was just crazy. I was, I've never experienced no shit like that. I was like, what the fuck? But like, I don't even know why I brought that up, but it just, yeah, we was talking about shit y'all find. We be finding weed money. What's the most you ever found? It was That's just like, damn, this is what I needed today. I had got a random cash app for five hundred. <laughs> Did you return it? Didn't he say he <laughs> needed it? <today? laughs> Did you say he needed it? Yeah, I, yeah, I needed that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the reply Thank you. was. <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> Who else was sitting there? Random cash app for five hundred. Yeah, I got it. I was I like, text- oh. I would log. I would have sent that. Just pause that shit in my bank account or something real early. Quick. You got to come back out. Yeah, you're right. I don't, I'm my cash. I gonna be at zero. Yeah. By the time that shit hit, ooh, ooh. Mm-hmm. burst. Yeah, bro. I I'm not even dealing with the digital shit, man. Y'all filed y'all taxes this year? Yeah, of course. Cool. Yeah, me too. So y'all filed y'all taxes? Yeah. <laughs> The IRS well, could be watching. Lady yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Just we, making sure everybody's doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying right. to get, I want to get away from that digital shit, too, because, yeah, like, you can have money one day, and then they can be like, oh, you can't log into your account, and, yeah, I had a bank like that, I had some money in that bitch, I I got a new bank, and I tried to send money from that bank to that bank using their little online shit, and then they banned my account for that, and said I was trying to do suspicious activity, and I called to try to get the money back, and they were like, uh, we don't know, and I was like, okay, cool, fuck it. Yeah, you just taking the L's, hell no. Nah. That's old, but yeah. Shit, we getting to the towards the end of this. We ain't gonna keep y'all up. We appreciate everybody in the chat. Any last thoughts we got? Anybody got something we definitely want to get off our fucking chest? Hey, I appreciate you guys for having me. Damn right, damn yeah. right. We appreciate you coming, bringing everybody through. Hurt, bros. We're all hurt. Hey, the world is hurt. We all got a story. Oh no, I'm good. You put the lighter on it. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, you need to get back, man. We appreciate that shit. That shit hitting, ain't it? I told you that shit was hit. <laughs> we can't nobody hear nothing you said. <laughs> All right, y'all. Shout out EG and shout out EG. Shut your bitch ass up. Get the fuck up, you nasty bitch. Nobody gives a yeah. shit.